and Paris Hilton are very close. Yes. Why have you five never asked me a plus one to her birthday party she goes to every year? Don't think I don't see them. No, it's a good question. You just, um, <laughs> we've met me and her. Yes. No, I don't. Let her talk. Let her talk. You just, <laughs> please God, I can't wait to hear what this is. You no. just, I'm going to uh, say, <laughs> you're going to try to Here's take the a- limelight. <laughs> I wouldn't want you, you know, your star to outshine mine. Yeah. Okay. Says, yeah. okay, Juan, we're back in New York City. We're halfway through the summer. It's Wednesday, which means you're halfway through the week. Um, keep pushing because the weekend's almost here. Joey and I are, well, we don't have any plans. I'm going to Martha's Vineyard this weekend. What's your plans? How are you feeling? If people die there in airplane crashes. I don't want to ever go there. RFK died like literally in the early 90s. It was not the early 90s, late 90s. There's also was JFK. It? RFK is currently running for president. JFK oh, died in 1999. Junior died. JFK Jr. JFK Jr. died there? Yeah. And his wife and his wife's sister, the Bassett girls. Carolyn Bassett. They had a beautiful place in Tribeca. Funny story about that. I was actually in Martha's Vineyard at the time of the crash, like two days later, and we were on the beach and a piece of the plane washed up. No we shot, asked my dad, really? we're like, can we touch it? My dad goes, hey, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we're just, just touching the plane and washed up. Did you, sell, did you sell pieces of it? No. I, I framed it and it's hanging up in our Carolyn, new studio. I used to sell Carolyn lipstick down on Christopher Street. Say, wait, say that again. I used to sell her lipstick. Carolyn does it at lipstick? No, I used to sell her lipstick to her, sell lipstick to her. She used to shop at my makeup store. Ah. And I would sell her little lipstick she wears. What was the big um, like magazine that he had, the big flop that JFK Jr. had? Remember? It was Paper Magazine, wasn't it? Was that what it was? Wait, he I, I was too young for that. He wasn't started a, a magazine. It was a flop, though? Remember, it was like this, all these. Um, I thought I don't it was know big. What it, was. it was a huge thing, but I remember like I was in Oprah TikTok, which, by the way, if you ever have a chance to get an Oprah TikTok, there is nothing better. And they were doing an interview with JFK Jr. Was it George George, George, George magazine. magazine? Oh That's yeah, I, don't, I, I never saw that. But here's um, here's a picture of it. And I know we talked a little bit about um, our time on the Cape last week, but I gotta. We're Did gonna, we? We gotta. Qu- so the thing is, we were just fresh off the boat and we were like drunk. Oh, yeah. I was delirious. Delirious. So I think we can recap a little bit now, but I had such a fun time on that fishing trip. And Joey found this bar. If you're ever in Cape Cod in Yarmouth, Massachusetts, this is what this is what I love jo- about Joey. No matter where you're at, he's going to find the best spot to go. He found a bar called Trader Ed's. <laughs> it, Marty, it, it describe, it you take it away, describe it. Joey. Well, first of all, I found the but I found the tugboats restaurant first. We uh-huh. went there twice, and he had every waitress by name. He's I know. Calling them out. First of all, the best, but that's my favorite restaurant I've been to. There's probably maybe a better one over there, but Tugboats is my favorite restaurant. If you're in South Yarmouth or the Highness area, oh, Highness Port area, phenomenal. unbelievable food. You get exactly what you want. Cocktails were on point. Um, so the raw bar was phenomenal. The entrees were great. Services fabulous. The views, the vistas were. Stunning. What was her girl's name? Karen? Crystal. Crystal. Our girl, Crystal. Um, anywho, and it's very cute in there. So everyone was super nice there. So if you want a good meal, go there. But also next door to it, it's like they're like kind of like on the same lot. Is they're on the same marina is called um, Trader Ed's, which is a very famous bar that's been there. And the views there are spectacular. The biggest yachts all of uh, and all of Yarmouth are there. Or are high yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, re- the guy's the owner of Reebok's uh, yacht was there. And the owner of this like huge, like... <laughs> 120 foot yachts. You didn't see them? No, I didn't see that. I'm just thinking of when we got introduced to the owner of the entire marina. He he owns all of basically Hyannis. Yeah. And I look over and Nana's got him in the torture chamber. Chat yeah. chat is chat is here off well, this little fucking guy. Well, I was, was I wanted want to hear all about it. I was I was I was uh, uh, intrigued. So we got to meet the owner of the um of the marina. Um and they were very nice to us. They took they gave me a whole section. Um, they slid in the DMs. I was mortified. They knew I was in town. I was mortified. Why? Because I got so I got a red carpet rolled out service and everyone else was standing up. No. We threw out yes, old men for my exactly. session. Exactly. <laughs> There's been like six old men sitting there like eating and like this beautiful little thing. It's at a reserved, a Joey reserved, looks it's over, a reserved 8 p.m. Joey Random looks over, thing. these people are your grandfather's age. Joey looks over, he goes, that's our table. I'm going to talk to a waitress. <laughs> and so these fucking guys, we booted them from their thing and we end up saying, It was yeah, our table. It's just the two of us in a huge L-shaped thing. Uh, the only the only couch is there besides like there's dining tables. This is like a lounge with a fire pit. <laughs> okay. And I was- I That's was, what I had reserved. Yeah, I was no, also enough. angry. Like I was, I don't eat. I get so mad. So Joey was trying everything in his power to get some fucking clam chowder down my gullet. So I'd cheer up a little bit. Yeah. But then the joint started flowing and the boys were there. Yeah. No, Wait, no. was it busy when you like yeah, had to move? Um, it got busy towards okay. the end. Of the night, right. but everything closes so early. And you wanted the prime table. Well, we were offered the prime table. I didn't know yeah. there was a lounge. And they said, come, come, please come in and we're going to put you at the, the left lounge. I said, okay, no, there was a lounge there. But I get that. I'd be getting them out of the seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Uh, well, was our, that's what they have reserved for us. I was going to go sit at a picnic table if I had reserved the spot. <laughs> 
I thought it was great. It was a lot of fun. We met a lot of yeah. Liv was our, Liv took care of us. She was fabulous. Oh, she was great. Um, everyone was very nice. Yeah, we took we took pictures. Of a lot of people. We um sat by the fireplace, drank a double. You can't get a double drink there, Marty. You they don't do double. They pour you. They give you a shot on the side at this particular bar. I think you. I don't hate that honestly. Because then it's a true double. It's not some yeah. like bullshit. Yeah, thing. I gave out my number to no less than <laughs> seventy five people. I woke and up with so many times. I always do that when I'm drunk. Yeah, shoot me a text. We'll get together. <laughs> it's like I woke up. I didn't know what was what. And this is a reason. I was also uh, sadly reminded why I don't travel with Trish. Um, she tried to pull a fast one on me as well. She tried to lure me into an, an Uber car and said we're going to a big party, a big house party <laughs> back at our hotel with a bunch of hot, like hot people. And I, I knew better than to get in the car. I didn't get in the car. Credit to you. And I, if I did, had I gotten in the car, I would have went home with no friends to hang out with, and he would have came right to bed. He told these all these he told this huge group of people that were all going back to send these aerodynamic ta- chairs. They went and stopped and got beer, and then they have, they, they got like the big houses by where we were staying. Okay. They all these there's a fire pit. And everyone's hanging out by the chairs outside. I didn't show up. The house, and he didn't show up. So I was there by myself with the entire these people. I only talked. I only said hi to at the bar. I didn't know who they were. Okay, hold his on. Friends. Let's pretend like don't I have, pretend, I, don't I, pretend I, like you were like stuck with them. You were. I want to go on the boat. Like, I want my friends to come. I want my friends to come. <laughs> and he wanted to go on this guy's boat after Not we swear, were shit face drinking. I didn't want to go driving on the boat. I just wanted to go sit on the boat. Oh, well, this guy's like, I'll drive you back to your place. I was like, this is how the murder murders happened. Yeah. No, you I was going to drive boat. with him. I was going to just hang out on the boat. They had a bathroom on it. Did they? Yeah, it was a big yeah, boat. Maybe it would have been worth. That's how I was like, I'm not getting on this boat. Everyone's fucking drunk. This is exactly how it happens. But no, I didn't even I didn't even show up. It was too much. It was too late. It was 1230. I knew if I had stayed there, it would have been up till. Well, this is the only the entire the time we were there. The only night he drank uh, and the only night he would actually want to hang out with me. Felt fake. That's literally, that's literally fake. Wait, news. so you ended up somewhere you didn't want to be? No, he was across the street with all these people who he had originally been begging to hang out with. So it's a win for him. I wasn't trying to hang out with them. You told me you're like these <laughs> are my. You go. These are my best friends. Not them. No, the other people, people are my best friends. So these were random people. No, the, the two girls that I met at the tugboat the night before, and her her husband, and, and my friend Nick that I met. My friend Nick, the other guy. Those were my was best Nick, friends. The tall guy. No, he had like a hat on the shirt of the, the shorter crown. guy. No, he was tall. Oh, you and didn't hang out up, with him. Oh, I wake up to a text from Joey. Richard's at, Richard's knocking at your door. Who the fuck is Richard? Richard was one of your friends that you met. The one that's saying at the, I on, thought we on had a property. great time. I think that was a small little blip on the radar of an otherwise no, but you, fabulous trip. It was the tra- 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 but you don't hang. You don't. You don't know how to hang like I do. No, I think that I think the opposite. We, is true. We, I think I know how to hang. But you don't want to hang out with me. No, shut the fuck up. We hung out every night, every day. You should be thanking me because the one night on the early day that. Jo- after our fishing trip, we like didn't go out. Joey was up at 9.30 in the morning. On a bike he, ride. On a bike ride. He set up his tripod. Maybe we could put it here. He set up his tripod and drove by and a thing splashed. And then I see him at noon. I was like, what did you do today? He goes, well, I had a BOGO sale. I went to Miss Kathy's. He had, I got the <laughs> shopping. Sure. He I went got shopping. I went sightseeing. Yeah. So you're welcome for us not being, if we had gone out and shit face, we would have sleep until 4 p.m. No, I don't sleep in like that. That's for oh. that's for trash. That's <laughs> for know? low income families. I don't sleep like that. Was our hotel low income? I mean, I would never stay there. I th- it was. I thought it was fun. You it hated was the kids. You hated the kids. I, I love hate when there's kids around. I, I love children. the laughter. We sit down. He's like, Ugh. "This is fucking disgusting." There's kids at the hotel. Beach, beach beautiful. children. Beach children are. Oh, uh, they're sp- yeah. splashing and doing bo- uh, body slams in the water, and they're fat fathers with their shirts on and their <laughs> their pig wives with their big fucking yetis full of like malt liquor it was disgusting <laughs> <laughs> i thought it was great i think the i think the ideal resort for that type of thing is like a upper blue collar resort yeah. where it's like the people there have kids but they also know how to drink they're not going to be uppity they're not going to be tight um and it was i thought it was which fun. is fine and once yeah. we got a cocktail in us Every shock. Once we had a drink in us, everything was suddenly fantastic. Right. But I got a beautiful photo of you. I had my Dylan Mulvaney Bud Light on the dock. That mm-hmm. um, how'd you all get those? It's Photoshop from someone uh, very very talented. Gotcha. At I did it within thirty seconds while he was wiping in the bathroom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was bitching about it. He goes, "Give me it. I'll do it." But I thought it was. He great. was going to hire and he was going to hire someone from work to do it. I said, "What?" No, I was. I was going to hire someone from work to do it. But I would say, in terms of bars on the Cape, that is up there with like Beachcomber and Wellfleet is obviously number one. Well, my favorite Squire place, and Chatham, and then Squire and Chatham, Squire and Chatham boat slip on P Town is great because they have the big dance. And then I would just obviously say Trader Ed's is now up there, but it just yeah. closes so goddamn early. No, you left early. They weren't closed. I left when it was closed. We were all out in the parking lot. Mm. And then a man was running around like a chicken with their head cut off on the thing. But it was fun. I'd like to, I don't know if I'm going to do that level of fishing again. It was a little bit too extreme for me on the way back when 
I look down and John Kelly is like laying down curled up ready to kill himself because it's just so bumpy. That was something I don't know if I want to do. Again. Well, I don't think, I think the boat we were on was not, that's why it was bumping like, like that because we were on a, a, a smaller boat with like, not a lot of like seating or safety. That was what, I mean, that was like, I'm, not I can handle seating, like rough seas. That was wild on the way home. We were going so fast. The like prop was coming up. It's yeah. Like, Everyone sit down. We're going to be bouncing. There's a 300 pound fish behind us. But that if was we like, were, if we were strapped down, if you're in a safe, if you're in a safe boat with like seating, it wouldn't have mattered. It would have been fun. If we had like a, an actual like, bench seating and like something oh, to hold yeah. on to, it'd be fine. We were sitting on the floor next to a dead fish and, a, and a, <laughs> a, like a case of water. The only thing separating me between the, the huge fish and its fucking was dorsal a fin was a case of water. Like, and I'm being smashed into the thing and it's like squeezing, this fish is getting squeezed and blood squirting out of it, like at us. It was, you know, I was, at that point I mentally checked out. I was out, I wasn't even there. I, I think I less. may have been worse at that than you guys big time. Like I do, I do never want to like be at sea and not being able to see land. I never, Oh, want to do that. we couldn't see land. I know hours. that's what I'm saying. We I never want to do that. It was like, it, you couldn't see 20 feet in front of you. We're yeah, he, he uh -uh. Slows down. All of a sudden there's a boat in front of us. No, thank you. We, but even if they had benches, we couldn't have sat on the front of the boat because the front of the boat was like, gong, gong, go. You were sore the next day, weren't you? Well, I was sore because I was sitting on the cooler trying to smoke a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, I was straddling the cooler. He's going, and waves are flashing. I just kept stopping space. for pee breaks the whole time. I had to pee break. I looked at the captain, like, stop. And I said, we don't stop you pee. Three or four beers that they slow the boat down. Everyone pees and you go. Yeah. I light a cigarette. Like off the, off the he lights side. a cigarette. The yeah. whole thing goes yeah. down like a, like a, a cartoon. Like it was somebody's sandwich. It just goes right down. because. Um, so I was straddling the um, cooler and had my legs like things. So the next morning I woke up this whole thing. I felt like, I thought I was had like, I got uh, a bloke my spleen or something. I had internal bleeding. I was like, what is this for? I was like, and then, um, my friend was like, this is actually, you're probably, you're probably engaging your core, like trying to hold on and keep your body straight <laughs> like this. You know what I mean? Like trying to like try to stay, trying to stay steady and using your core to hold yourself so you don't fly off. So that's what I was, I was, um, I was using my core and Nan that's why I got tight. Now Nana's core hasn't been engaged since the mid nineties. So it was, it, was a, it was a shock to the system. My wrists were sore from holding on to the fucking thing. Mm -hmm. it, it got to the point where it was like, we need to get back. It was like, a lot. And then we get back, but we can't pull into the dock. We got to slice up the fucking fish. I had uh, just another right. hour slicing up the fish. I was so tired. I had to go home and do, I just leave right from there early. I had to do a podcast. I fell asleep on the podcast. If you listen to the It's Happening podcast this week, at around 43, um, at <laughs> 43, I, I fall, I fall asleep in conk out like at a stroke. I was talking like this. I'm like, I don't know how you did that. Like. And I like, I fall, you hear, I audibly hear me like talking as I'm falling asleep. You did that like right after we recorded? Before. Before. Oh. Yeah, I was so mad he had an excuse to get off the boat. <laughs> yeah. I, I was like, how are you? Well, I had to It was work. a valid excuse. I and have then two full-time jobs. Everything smells like a fucking, like tuna. It, my my, my like clothes smell so bad, I washed them, but all it did was bake tuna into well, my Well, because you were holding that fish. Yeah. I, I held it up like this, but I didn't get blood on me like you guys got. Oh, it was brutal. We ate the heart of the fish. Oh, we took, they a, cut out. took a bite, yeah. That's yeah. like safe to do? Probably not. It tasted disgusting. Yeah. I gotta say, everyone's saying, you know, the sashimi, it's like the freshest fish you ever get. It looks a little too fresh. It tastes like it's pure blood. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, you know, like you, you like, you like have a bloody nose, you like snuffing and, go, and a fat, like, <laughs> like Ew, blood stop. clot. You swallow, that's what it tastes like. Mm. That's I'm a, sure, but it's, uh, no, um, John Rich, John Kelly had it for um, dinner because he made out uh, of the Toro. He has, a, he has a, like uh, John Kelly has 70 about, pounds. He yeah. goes, if you guys want it, I can bring some back. I said, no, I don't trust. I don't know how, how long it took you to I get there at home. I don't care. I don't care how, you know, the temperature was the whole time. I'm not like up on that. So I don't want to risk it. He's probably got literally probably $3,000 worth of tuna meat Jesus <laughs> in his freezer Christ. right now. He took all the, what was the thing on the belly that just said that was the Toro. Good o Toro, Chu Toro. O Toro. Yeah. So that was good, but never again. I'd like to do. Oh, I would do it again. Some, you would do that again? Fishing? Yeah. The, but that level. I you, mean, I would do it on a nicer boat with a bathroom. Yeah. I would. That's why I want to go out in the bay. See, but there, I'm sure there's much more beautiful fishing boats. I mean, that was like, that was a bare, bare minimum of a boat. It that was, was like a utility boat. Yeah. That was like, I mean, that's I just what I was. for a job. Cause I'm saying, if it, was like, if it was like a regular boat that had like a bathroom and like a little, like, you know, a cooler, yeah. or some ice, like ice and like a, it's nice, always the ice machine. Like a deadliest catch style. Not boat. even just oh. like something a little bit more like luxurious. Like, you, you know, like with maybe some, some seating, a like seatbelt, a seatbelt or, yeah. you know, a, a good, a good radio or, you know. Something, I don't know. Something I mean, enjoyable, I think. We need a man. I would like to do it in the bay. Like, cause you go, then you drive up to a bar and you, you know, you have a drink. Yeah, I, I like fishing. I would, I would hundred percent do it. I, I want to do it every summer. I liked it. All right. Not well, that, I mean, know. that level, again, I would do it much more luxurious, like more, more, more uh, uh, like appropriate for my lifestyle and my, my tax bracket. But, uh, you know, it was I don't fine. think I could do hunting. No, I wouldn't do hunting. I don't think I could do I that. did feel horrible when he was like, like oh. whimpering for his life on the fucking boat. People, I didn't Everyone care was at like, all. 
Because well, that's because you're heartless. I don't care about the fish. Fuck that. But then I see people are upset, like in the DMs. But then people are saying, "Oh, deers are parasite. I could kill a deer. You could kill a fucking deer before you kill a fish. That seems insane to me. Yeah. If I shot a deer, I would be like, no, they'd be the same areas. I don't know. It's 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 always hard. And I think everyone kind of like even even the guy I was talking to, the a sound guy who's a fisherman, Dave. He said he was saying he's like you know he's like I'm having I actually. Uh, in the beginning, when I started fishing, I really had a really hard time with it as well. And he goes, because it's, it's human nature. It's like, there's no way that you can't feel that kind of level of- I guess uh, I'm not human. I know that already, girl. <laughs> Fish, for some reason, feels not as bad. They don't have brains. What are you talking yeah. about? Yes, they do. They don't feel- play with that. <laughs> they, have, they are. You can't That's like- take. And they're like, what's a f- what do fish do? They just mindlessly swim around. It's like they don't have families. They don't raise. Yes, they do. Dolphins do. D- fish are not mammals. Fish just fart out a bunch of fish and go. D- deer. It's like they're raising their own young. Like you shoot a fucking wolf or but you fish, shoot a fucking uh, elephant. Tunas are the only blood- warm blooded um, animal. Is that true? No, like whales and dolphins. And- whales and dolphins and, and all and mammals tuna. are warm blooded. Oh, oh, you're talking about in the ocean? Yeah. A warm blooded animal. Is it? Yes, that's I didn't know that. I'll take a fact check on that. Are tuna warm-blooded animals? They are. Regardless, I, I will say this though: there were a couple of times where it was like it was slapping, like on the thing, and I looked over at Joe, and he was like getting worked up. So I was glad that it fucking died. I mean, why don't you? I don't know why they just stamp on his head and like kill him, like like take him out of his misery. I don't think you could. It was so like thick and fat. Someone's like, do you hit it with a club? Like you do? Like we don't we had sea a bass saw. fish. We're we're an outdoors podcast now, by the way. We went <laughs> sea <laughs> bass fishing, and it was like he just took those and went dead dead oh, yeah. but that's good because you could fillet that up on the thing shout out pistol pete uh fishing charters in cape cod massachusetts if you want to just go for a day or two days you want something extreme whatever it is pistol pete charters in yarmouth mass falmouth mass wherever they are um definitely for and if you, you want guys. this shirt you can go to um sharkies what was it? Sh- <laughs> sharkies. sharkies it's a little, a little a little store boutique and also kathy's boutique was very nice Shout out to Kathy's Boutique over on um, in Yarmouth. We wa- it was a 38 minute flight. We landed. We went by Kathy's Boutique. He was trying to put it in. We walked by. It was like the Willow Tree on. It was the north. It was the northeast version of the Willow Tree. Oh. They had a big sign. Bogo sale yeah. going on till July 30th. They had, they had sandals. They yep. had capri pants. Talk to them. Clam diggers. Okay. They had them all. Yeah. It tunics. Was, they had tunics. They had everything. Did you get a, a woven? <laughs> a woven clog while you were there? No, I didn't, but I did get all this, all the sporting, sporting because I got Cape Cod um, pants. That's the Cape Cod on the side. I got all different long sleeve t shirts, tank tops. Yes. Um, was there things. a nice middle aged woman on the floor helping you? No, no. he was fat and Mexican. No. <laughs> <laughs> Still very lovely. Still very lovely, like we thought. Hello Fresh, take a bite out of summer with Hello Fresh from chef crafted seasonal recipes to their new fresh and fit summer menu. Hello Fresh brings flavors right to your door with pre portioned ingredients that help cut down on food waste while step by step instructions make cooking a breeze. Not a chore. Make your home the hangout place this summer with crowd pleasing eats from backyard bratwurst bar Ooh. to tangy key lime pie. HelloFresh Market has summer entertaining as in a cinch. HelloFresh gets that you want options when it comes to making dinner. I'm um, not just the same old thing all the time. That's why they offer 40 recipes to choose from every single week, so you'll never get bored and can always find something new to try and love. When you need dinner fast, don't call for delivery. Think HelloFresh. Their fast and fresh recipes are ready in just 15 minutes or less. Plus, HelloFresh is 25% te- cheaper than takeout go to hellofresh.com slash out in about 50 and use code out in about 50 for 50% off plus free shipping that's hellofresh.com slash out in about 50 and use code out in about 50 for 50% off plus free shipping i watched a show that you told me to watch which was the summer i turned pretty yeah did you enjoy yourself I they were just it. here those two boys were just here jeremiah and conrad were just here on the chicks in the office okay good looking guys one of them is a homosexual. Not in real life. Though, Bisexual. Right? In real life? I don't know. One of them kissed a boy on the show. Jeremiah kissed a boy. Do you watch that on HBO? I haven't watched Amazon it yet. Prime? And please don't say, don't, please don't, um, no spoilers for the second season because people haven't watched it yet. Okay. Second season, I thought. Ugh. You watch the whole season? Yeah. You watch for all of the I watch every single episode the past two days. Okay. I only watched the first episode of season two so far. It's funny. Like season two. Funny. I, I like season two, like episode one and two, like I was like actually laughing. At at what what, what were you going, laughing at? I can't tell you. I watched most of them. One and two, the girl with the who dated the guy in the band. Oh yeah, like, yeah. That was like that actually, was funny, like yeah. that was actually funny. I liked it, and I don't ever sit through a show ever. Dare I say it's a new obsession? For season one, did you think that? I'm just trying to have something in common with you my think boyfriend. Su- <laughs> do you think Susanna and <laughs> do and um and B- Billy's what mom were lesbians together? Yes, I thought they were too, but they're not. Yeah, I did think they were lesbians. I think the Asian, I also the thought Asian was the sub. 
bottom, and I thought Suzanne was more the dumb because she's she seems like she had the money. Yeah, because she's the the Asian is the one who's more like you know like tiger mom, like you know strict parent. And but in the bedroom, those are the ones who often like to kind of take a back role to things. Um, I also thought that writer when he went out on the boat, that writer, that young boy, I thought he was going to have sex. Too. I thought that, that the old man and young boy were going to have sex. So I was boned up the whole time. <laughs> um, but I like it. I mean, it reminds me of my childhood growing up. <laughs> Tuss, in, in cousins Tuss. in and Cape Cod on your, your summers in Chatham? Cousins Beach. Yeah, yeah. They shot that in the Cape. They shot it in the I Cape know. and then in North Carolina and a few others places. I was there. I was I was the lead lead makeup artist. You were on the show, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but it's a very good show. It's heartwarming. I mean, it's a little. It's on Amazon, um, Amazon Prime. So if you don't have that channel, I mean, that's the only reason I would buy that channel. What did you do? I think it might come with a Prime subscription. Did you do anything like in the summer? Like we never went anywhere. I never went to camp. I never oh, did anything. I'd yeah. hang out by the electrical box and like wait to get in trouble. <laughs> For some water parks, we would go to that was yeah. just very white trash. We water country, water whiz, water works. It's like white trash central. We'd wear t-shirts in the pool. I Why? played a lot of video games so over the summer. Video games? So that's really, yeah. Went Before I went to camp, that's summer. what I did. You did? Where? We went to Wildwood, New Jersey. Oh, I love Wildwood. Every year. Wildwood's white trash, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, definitely. Wildwood Crest. It's, that's the like, less white trash part of it. But yeah, we went there every year. A whole, like, um, my family's, my parents, all, all their friends would rent out the hotel, the motel there, whatever it was called. And they, you know, everyone got the same rooms the same week, first two, last two week, first two weeks of August or last two weeks of August. I think first two weeks of August. You had money like that? I mean, we'd go away for two weeks. I don't know if, and, um, every summer, yeah. It's funny how when you grow up, you realize the things you did as a kid that were just very white trash. Yeah. Like water park, there is nothing more white trash than a water park. Or a public in pool. In New Hampshire, Mass. A yeah. public pool. A public pool. Ew. Like summertime white trash, public pool. We, <laughs> yeah. were, we were part of a pool club one summer. Yeah. That was a The big town game. pool. Yeah, because you could go there and they had like a slide and someone would always shit in the pool. I mean, I don't even know what else is like. Mini golf is white trash for the summer. Is it? Eh. I think mini golf is. No. I've never once seen a well-maintained mini golf. Ever. I've only seen, it's like, I always buy the ice cream shop and it's all a bunch of kids, like white kids. Yeah, like white kids, white trash. No, not the trashy ones. You think it's, maybe it's Nice ones anything. exist, for sure. I don't think that is. I think, like, I think, um. I think anything you do with kids automatically makes you, like, our <laughs> hotel was a little bit white trash. It's like some of the ladies there were like, a little too drunk to be, you know, holding on to baby dancing yeah. by the pool. What Having your own uh, cornhole set up is very white trash. They oh, I don't there. know. Cornhole? I is white trash. I think it is. I don't like the game either. I don't think it's that fun. Does Barstool Drinking have their own? Are white trash. Don't we have our own uh, cornhole like that we sell on our on our website? Yeah, probably. We yeah. <laughs> we should get ones with our ours are the Barstool ones are cool. What else did you do in the summer? Like, what would be like an average day for you? What, like he, what, when, when are you talking about? I don't about, think though? like any time, like as a kid, as like, a kid, as an yeah. adolescent. Yeah. Like um, pre high school. I probably, you know, make fashions. I go walk, we go, we like take the train somewhere and like just walk around the city and like go shopping at like go shopping. Choreograph dances with your cousins. Yeah. Um, it's a classic. Go to um, down the shore, go to, you know, a friend's house down the shore, go to the boardwalk. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Go on rides. <laughs> um, pottery. The pottery. Did you have a wheel? Mm hmm Foot control their hand. Um, sewing. You'd make no, I, I, went to, I used to go to art class. I used to go to art class during the summer. Oh, I think I did some gay shit like that. I think I did a baking class. I used to go to art class in, uh, in New Jersey. It was um, a, so the summer. And I, I, it was like, it was a painting class we took. And I got to, I had to get like my, my kit. And I remember I had to go to the paint store and I got like, we spent like $500 on all the stuff we needed, for all the colors I needed on, you know, all the, the Rembrandt paints that I bought and all the, <laughs> so, all the yeah. box and all the things. And I come home with like these tacky paintings. And like, I figured, I thought you had to make the painting all in one day, but like most people are doing like one painting for like, the whole summer. But I like every, every, every <laughs> day when I make a new painting and it was just like just complete shit. And now what was the subject of the painting? Um, one was like a fruit bowl. One was Christ. A still actually. life. Christ the Redeemer. Still life, yeah. And the one was like a, one was like a flower, a vase, a flower vase and like, you know. A vase. Maybe a landscape you'd throw in there. You really have to go off the spectrum, of course. I never did landscapes. I only did objects. You were, you were into realism? Yeah. Serving realness. <laughs> Serving realness with Rembrandt paint from a young age in Wildwood, New Jersey. I think I did. My mom tortured us with like a a reading class one summer and we'd have to ride well, our is fucking bikes to a reading class that sucks. as torture. That you guys sucks. do summer school? Mrs. It was her idea. I used to have to go to summer school for gym class. 
What are you talking about? <laughs> so, I failed gym class. class every, I failed gym class every year, so I had to do it in summer school. How do you, let me guess. You refused to get dressed. You were, no, you I, was get dressed. Refused I wouldn't to do get anything. Dressed. I would never, I was never do anything. So I never, I always fail. I failed gym every year. So I always have to go through gym class in summer school. That was called even fat worse. camp, dear. <laughs> well, it didn't work. We just kind of, we used to smoke cigarettes and just like hang out on the uh, outside in the gym class and like fuck around. My gym teacher slept with like three students, a female. Ooh. School. How old was she? At the time, probably. A, a, a gym, a, a female gym teacher? Name? I just want you to hear it. Miss. There was, one, there was one black kid in our school and she fucked him. <laughs> and she went on, and she went on. She burnt her thigh with spaghetti sauce one day. Uh, and all the boys waited after class so we could see her scar and she pulled her skirt up and you could basically see her pussy. Wow. And then I fucked her. Well, she was probably, oh, to answer your question, she's probably in her early 30s. God, this is crude. But what kind, of, <laughs> what kind of female gym teacher wants to sleep with men? What kind of lady? A one who's a female gym teacher. That's who wants to sleep with men. But I thought they're all lesbians. She could have been. She had like Kate Goslin's hair before Kate Goslin had it. Lucky girl. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Sometimes we're faced with tough choices and the path forward isn't always clear. You need to have the tools in order to navigate life in a way that doesn't mess you up in the head, in a way that's going to allow you to be stress-free, confident, and calm. And that's where BetterHelp helps us. That's right. I love it because I'm able to get the tools I need to phone up. Some life throws something at me. I don't freak out anymore. I know how to, my, my therapist and I work together, how to use t- uh, tri- tips and tricks and life tools that I learned to kind of, um, uh, you know, receive the information I'm receiving and how to, you know, disperse it in a calm way. And that's what I work on with my therapist. And whether you're, help. and I'm sorry, and whether you're dealing with decisions around your career relationship or anything else, therapy helps you stay connected to what you really want while you navigate life. So moving forward, you can do so with confidence and excitement. Trusting yourself to make the decisions that align with your values is like anything. The more you practice it, the easier it gets. And I'm going off script here. I'm saying better help is something that we have here at Barstool Sports. It's something that's helped me. It's something that helps Joey. We both understand that taking that first step and trying therapy is something that can be scary. It can also be complicated and expensive. Best better help will get rid of those three worries for you. You're going to try it. You're going to love it. Right. If you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire online and get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash out and about today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash out and about for 10% off your first month. Give it a try. You got some lashes delivered to you. Lily lashes, yeah. I use, I have a big, um, I have a, a makeup job, a gig coming up. I got all four, is it four now? Five girls from Jersey Shore I got to do for uh, the, for the big press. The new, the new season's coming out. Sammy's they, back. They're coming on our show. Why? So I have, they I have, hate I, her, Sammy? No, everyone's, every, right now everyone's I think is pretty good. We're going to, we're going to sit down with all the gals and we're going to talk to them and find out all the tea. I'm excited but for But I have to that. do their makeup for, um, you know, the big press tour coming up. Um, so I had to get some, some, uh. Re, uh, I had to re-up. You had to re-up? Yeah, so Lily lashes. lashes sent me out with the most beautiful lashes. They're very expensive. I talked I talk about Lily Lashes when I was doing your makeup that one time. That's right. I asked, what's the difference the between best. a regular lash and a Lily Lash? About $35. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I did that. And then also I just got, speaking of, and Tarte also sent me a bunch of stuff as well for that thing. But also I got, I am part of the influencers oh God. Around, around Tarte. I mean, I've yet to get invited to, I got invited to a big pride event they had. Yep. And I also got invited, and I got invited to something else. I did not invite to a trip yet. I didn't go, didn't go to Fiji or D- Dubai yet, but I think I'm the next up on the list. I just got invited to the Beyonce concert with Tarte. You should not be going to fucking Dubai ever. Why? You would, go, how would you handle yourself in Dubai? What, what do you mean? What's wrong with Dubai? We'd be stunning. stoned to death. Isn't no. Dubai anti-gay? I, is it? I mean, UAE is, but I think Dubai is. That's like, like a, saying Moscow is like bad, but like Russia's like, it's like you know, I think Rush, Russia's Russia is bad. The government, not the people. I think in richer areas, it's they don't care what you do as long as you have money. We're stopping yeah, in Dubai on the way to Egypt, so I hope it's oh. okay. Yeah. You're going to the Travis Scott concert. In Egypt. Right. <laughs> if it's going on at the same time, yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go to the Beyonce concert with Char. Isn't that nice? I'm happy for you. When is sweet. that? I don't know. July. End of July. Will you be my your plus one or? No. Who will be? Probably my mom. <laughs> I just spoke to her the other day. Oh, yeah. Via medium. Go? It's like medium. It was good. I went to Nicole's house and we had um, we had Thomas John on um, over from. Yeah. Um, he's a psychic medium. 
And um, he, you know, my father came and a bunch of other people, and we kind of had a, we had a really nice reading. My mother came through, and everyone's everyone kind of came through that it was they were looking for, and it was you know it was it was uh, chilling. I heard that I heard Poppy was overserved. Yeah. He's <laughs> started asking, what about me? What about me? And he was like, uh, <laughs> chiming in, like talking over everyone, getting jealous of someone else getting attention from their dead friend. And he kept screaming out like, what about me? Um, so we had to get her home. But it was fun. <laughs> Did she say the word? No, she didn't say what the word. What was, you won't tell me the word? I can't say the word because it's, it's still the word. A noun or a verb? I can never say, I can't say. All right. I can come up with a new word for you. Yeah. Um, it was polka dot. <laughs> that was that was the word. No, it wasn't anything like that. But I just made that up. Um, we have a little bit of celebrity news we're going to do today. We're going to run through a couple topics. Ariana Grande got divorced. Ariana Grande oh. got divorced. Yes. Yeah. Two yeah. years from Dalton Gomez, her cute little Latino Twinkie husband. They're yep. done. She was seen at Wimbledon without a ring on. I don't even know who the fuck this guy was. She just likes Twinks. She fucked Pete Davidson. Mac Miller. She has a very specific type of man that she was with. Yeah. And Pers- she's very, I saw her at Wimbledon. She has nice new blonde hairdo. She looks very put together and posh. Um, very, 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 very cute. So, you know, I'm sure she'll, she'll, she'll swing back. She's a uh, beautiful, talented and um, pretty funny. I think, I think she's a good personality. I think she's and great. very wealthy. So I think she'll, I think she'll be just fine. <laughs> I don't like Ariana, Ariana <laughs> Gaze though. Is it pronounced Ariola Grande? Yes. Okay. Oh, I also got invited on the Britney, the Britney boat. The fuck is the Britney boat? That's where the new twin came from. We got his ass eating on the Britney boat. The Britney cruise, Britney, Britney Bruce what cruise. What is that? It's, I don't know. The End of August. Are, oh, yeah, oh, the kids are going. I had to buy a ticket for it. Are you really going? Yeah. You're going on a gay cruise. It's not a cruise. It's, it's just over the night. Like, but it's the, around the harbor. Yeah, it's just go for the night. It's like, I, that's, I don't know. If, do you, Are you aware of what that is? That's like the, like, gay, that's like gay circuit, like times a thousand. But it's Britney themed. Britney so flavored. So we're okay with it. Yeah. All right. That's fair. I just want to, I just want to let you know. Did y'all see she got decked by Victor Wimbanyama's yes. uh, security yeah. detail. Yeah. And then she Did yelled, this is, about a, that yet? she yelled, this is America. I don't think it was her. I think the vid, I think that video was fake as fuck. Oh, enlighten me. Why? No one, I mean, no one said this, but there is the big conspiracy that all her videos are just like a filter and it's not really her. Well, she and went this online and said that. Th- I know. Yeah. What did she do? She went online and said, like, you know, a, a thing saying, you know, how he got hit, how she got hit, and that her security never did that to anyone. Something just doesn't add up. He's an 18 year old, like, NBA, like, big time prospect. It's not, not someone that Britney, that you would think Britney Spears would be that interested in talking to. Yeah. Why, why are you a fan of him? I what think team, what he's team also going to play for. Bodied in the NBA, which I love. Yeah, he might be. What team does he play for? The uh, Spurs. He just got drafted, though. He hasn't even played a game. Where's yet. the Spurs from? San Antonio. Oh, yes. Doesn't sound like hometown women. or anything. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's that's wild. Stay um, woke. I think it's fake. Taylor Swift. Yeah. You see this video, her fans taking over on a plane what? said it's nightmare fuel. Marty, can we play this? That was lovely. Can <laughs> we say, dare I go out on a limb and say that Taylor Swift fans are the most obnoxious fan base on the planet? Um, it's getting there. I me. guess. I don't know. I just like that, you know, at least it didn't turn out to like everyone beating the shit out of each other and being dragged off. It's I've never seen a plane that in distress, like a delayed plane get along so well. Well, you're knowing that you're knowing that they're not flying spirit. Taylor Swift fans, <laughs> mommy and daddy are putting them on Delta one the whole time down. <laughs> I think they're just it's getting to be a bit much like the fandom. It's almost like people are becoming fans just to say that they're a fan. Yeah. Is Taylor. I don't think Taylor Swift is this good. Well, I mean, she, it doesn't matter if she's good or not. She's getting all the money, all the attention, and she's one of the biggest tours ever. So it, it doesn't matter what we think. It's it's happening, and she's wreaking the benefits. There must be some deep cuts that I've just never heard that must be great, because her biggest hits are like the most generic bullshit pop music I've I don't think heard. it's the music that they like. I think it's her words. I think she's. Yes. I think she might be a brilliant writer, and because everyone's so invested in the story about, like, and every, yep. they hold on to yeah. these words and these riddles about, like, you know, this street or this, she wore a red scarf here, a blue pair of shoes here, and uh, that means this, and there's all these like, riddles. So I think I think it's like, like heartbreak and they her about relationships. Yeah. I, think people, I think women uh, love sure. her because, or even men, too, anyone who's in a relationship, she, it's all about love and, and she finds in a scenario each song is such a perfect scenario for like something that happened to another person that they will identify with so whether it's like you know first love or whatever her love stories are about I think it's more about the writing than the actual bop of the song so it's in the deep cuts the The love comes from the deep cuts of her albums oh yeah I think that's actually a really good point I think people don't necessarily love her music but they love her lyrics yeah because yeah, Shake It Off is the worst song I've ever heard in my entire life. Yeah, I don't think it's that. It's actually not known for her dance moves or, you know, <laughs> things like that. But I just think it's because her songs, they relate and they're like, they hold on to these fans. Like I see like um, Gia and all her, all the young girls here. 
they love her so much. And they hold on to like every word that she says and like, you know, like, and it all means something and it's something bigger and it's, a, it's, a, it's like an investment, almost like, like you would be. Everyone can and, relate to it. Everything she and, does. And like one of those, be related to. Yeah. Any of those, move, those big fucking shows that everyone watched, the Game of Thrones or whatever that takes over the country. Like everyone's obsessed with it. I think it's just an obsession that everyone like, you know, wants to get on the bandwagon and it's easy. It's an easy way to kind of get on and, and, and relatable. She has her demo relatable. locked. Yeah. White girl. Oh yeah. White girls <laughs> in their, in their teens to, I guess, mid thirties. That's, she has every single one on the planet buying her shit. Yeah. Good for her. Don't hate the player, hate the game, I guess. A Rhode um, Island native. A Rhode Island native. Watch Hill, right? Yeah. Or Newport, Rhode Island. That's our girl. No, she's not a Rhode Island native. No, she's not. She lives Michigan. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, was she from Rhode Island? I think I she, she was. was from Tennessee, right? No, she went, she moved to Nashville from, just go to her music. I think she was Let's born see. in Rhode Island. I hope or so. Or New Hampshire or something. They were saying she also lost her accent. Pennsylvania, sorry. She's from Pennsylvania? Yeah. Where she was born. I do love her, but it's, you know, it is what it is. Um, okay, what else we have? Adam 22, the guy who let his wife get banged, uh, Lena the Plug. Yes. By Justin Love, who has a 12-inch thick cock. Um, they are now the most searched person on Pornhub, most searched couple. Uh, is it free to watch? Adam 22 is up 4,068%. They're laughing all the way to the bank. It is free to watch. Well, if Adam 22 has a 12-inch dick? And Justin Love, what? Who has a 12-inch dick? This have you this guy Justin Love's dick is and he actually gave one of the funniest interviews I've ever seen. Uh, he was talking what? about it, and the interviewer asked, "Are you better in bed than the husband?" And he goes, "Obviously, I'm better in bed." And that was actually a blog that went viral on our website. But yeah, this guy's cock is really something. I highly suggest watching it. Uh, <laughs> they have three million followers on OnlyFans, yeah. which I don't know how much they charge or how many what their retention it's rate is. Fairly reasonable. It's like ten. Are bucks. you on it? I've no, I'm what? not subscribed, but I've seen it. Oh my god, young lady! They came on only stands once. Adam twenty two and and fucking Lena. They were here. Yeah, they were really nice. I liked them both a lot. We have so many heavy hitters. We had um, Jeremiah and Con Conrad here. We had the yeah. two porn stars here. I know we have a lot going on. And Marty's all, you're officially off only fans. Officially only off. Stands. Officially off. That means you have more time to dedicate to our relationship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do you want to see his hog really quick while we're while we got her pulled you, up? I saw it last time we were here. Oh, Justin loves you, dead. Well, we, I don't know. Well, didn't we watch it? Didn't we see the porno when yeah, someone else was here the other day? He, he's talking about the guy that uh Oh, that's Adam. I'm talking about the guy who she did the fucking with. I think you should just take a peek if you don't we mind. Show What's his later, name? Claudia, What's his don't name? we? Don't no, we, we watch showed, that later? We showed Adam's. Not oh, Justin's. I'll see someone's yeah, yeah. dick. Sure. Wasn't it Justin Love? Justin Love, L-U-V. Yeah, he is uh, really a well-endowed man. Now, ladies, I would turn the phone away from your significant other right now because oh. they're going to be very Which self-conscious. Which one is he? The tattoos? You'll see. He, it's hard to miss. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and view. That's oh, it? Oh, so that's a clone of Willy. Marty, you got safe search on like you're a mother protecting I don't know children. Why, is it, I don't know why this started there happening. There she is. There we go. Um, yeah. It's not bad. I mean- I wouldn't want that in me, but we had. Um, tell us about who's on Claudia Ashray. Claudia Ashray. Ashray. Sorry, Claudia Charity Lou Ashray. Correct. One of my my dear friends. Um, comedian. The toast. Singer, author, um, mother. Icon. Uh, mother of three. I icon. Charity Lou. She's um host of the toast. Host of the toast. My my friend for many many moons. Um, she's just a lovable lovable gal. Girl with no job on Instagram. If you don't know who she is, she is very charming. This was, I think, her second time in Barstool. Mm -hmm. uh, she had done KFC a while ago. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you one thing. We have guests on a lot of times and you never know what you're going to get. Um, I didn't know what I was going to get. In the, and I mean that in the best possible way because she and she lived up to her hype. I will just say that. Mm -hmm. Funny, charming, hilarious stories. Um, and she yeah. was just an absolute dream. So we're going to get to our interview with Claudia. And then we will see you guys on Friday for, I think, maybe a Joey and Pat solo episode. We'll try and get something funny. Maybe here. we'll have a special appearance from my 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 uh, older brother, twin. Who? Big Cat Marie. Cats. Cats. That could happen. You never know. We're working on that right now. Uh, but here's our interview with Claudia. We hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for listening. Repost us and uh, we'll post you back. Goodbye. Welcome to the show, um, Claudia Marie Oshray. <laughs> this is the first time you've been here. First time. Sports. Thanks for inviting me after she, so many years. All I do is praise. I love out and about. I love it about waiting for an invitation. She is an You're author. Taylor Strecker. Yeah. You didn't have me. She's an author. <laughs> yes. She's a comedian. Yes. She's an entrepreneur. She's the moment. She's a media mogul. She's the owner of the Toast Net News Network, mm -hmm. owner of Sprit Society, mm -hmm. owner of, part owner of Dear Media? 
Kind of. No comment. No comment. And, and, and the owner mother of, her- of Theo. <laughs> That's also true. Who's she's, Theo? A, she's a mother. Her daughter. Her, her Your son. daughter? Theo. Her son. You didn't tell me she, we were having a mother in the house? No. Mother of the house. She's the mother of the house. Oh, yeah, I was a little, I was a little confused. The, um, the elusive Claudia Ashray. Thank you for coming. So elusive. Like nobody knows You are a vision me. and beige. If you're, if you're, leaning, if you're listening um, in the car right now, she is dripped. Mm-hmm. In Zara's and, finest. Yeah. She's, she, she's wearing a, a, a bomber jacket with a sateen finish. I didn't realize that Out and About, sorry, I need to put my phone on do not disturb. I didn't realize that Out and About was sponsored by, brought to you by Better Help. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, yeah. You can do you do code. therapy, Joey? I'm flipping, turning the I tables. Do. I was, I was yes. on her She's show. in her, she's on her a, show. I was doing all our ads. Barbara like, Walters. Yeah. No, we're fighting over, over our co- coupon codes. I was, was like, I was like, just out and about. Oh, God. Or whatever. Like, well, we're, always, you know? we're always trying to get new ones in. Like, if we see something we like, we'll give them a free ad. That's of just course. like how the, you know how that's how the biz works. The business, yes. That's yes. how the biz works. A vision in beige. And she's wearing a new Chanel patent leather loafers. Yes. You look nice. Just for you. I dressed up for you. I know. Well, thank you. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank you for coming. I'm so excited. My name is Trish. I've never met you. I haven't. I've no. been a fan forever and I haven't Same. met you. I love and, your clips. Oh, thank you so I much. I just love this podcast. I'm so excited to be here. I know. Yay. Second time at Barstool. Yes. You were on that. You, had, you did it on one of the startup podcasts, I think, originally. A what? It was like a podcast that we have KFC. Is it still here? They're small. They're like, oh, you guys are joking. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, like, I'm pretty sure they're <laughs> the huge. <biggest. laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure they're massive. Um, yeah, it's like pretty big. How's how's the toast going? It's fabulous. I just came from the toast. Yes. Joey was just on. Yes. Everybody loves Joey. I get yes. I get the most press out anywhere when I do the toast. It's oh, like I people don't you. care. Like if I if hang out with like the biggest celebrities in the world, which I do the second, uh, you know, with you. Do you hang out with the biggest celebrities in the world? No. Do oh. you, you do though? <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. I was just wondering if you had like famous friends I didn't know about. No. Got to meet. No. Them. But you know, I'm just saying, people get mo- I get most recognition from the toast. Everyone says, "Oh my gosh, so you're on the toast, so you're on the toast." Well, you're a star. Well, you're a star. We uh, are stars. We are. We're all st- we're all stars. Yeah. I think we all are. All mm-hmm. stars. Three. We're all stars. All stars. Which you're not watching. I'm not watching. You're not watching All Stars Three. I'm all not. Stars, all stars I've kind of eight. I've fallen off a little bit Drag for the yeah, RuPaul. Yeah, yes. You know, at the beginning of the most recent season, I loved that they cut the episodes down lengthwise. I know, like yeah. the fandom oh, was. They hated that. Oh my god, everyone was so pissed. I have this like shortest attention span. I loved it. I just want to get right to the runway. I really don't need to listen to the judges deliberation and they cut it. I loved it. And then everyone was like crying about it. So they brought it back. And I was just like, honestly, I don't have time. I don't need to, I don't need to hear about the drama in the workroom. Like, you're like, well, I, when I was young, I, you know, I was, I don't need their trauma. That's what I'm talking about. I do not. I don't need. Yeah, exactly. I don't need the trauma during the show. We get it. It's tough. Like it's tough. (laughs) It's tough. You guys get it. Yeah. You're from Missouri. Well, there's so many Queens from, oh, you're talking about all stars. Not the anyone, anyone of I don't need the. Sh- I don't need. I just want to see the shade, the looks, the reads. Yeah. I got enough of my own issues. I don't need to. Hear, I don't need to hear. I need a death drop, and I need. And I need. A, you know, some drama, a little bit. A reveal. But to, no, a reveal. Nobody's like really like nasty anymore, which is like <laughs> a product of the times. Yeah. Which I understand. Like we should all be kind to one another. Yada yada. But like <laughs> I miss when they were all bullying each other. Like yeah. it was yes. the best. Yeah, I miss that too. Speaking of which, I want to talk to you about. You know, you're you're all things media, all things current. You are the millennial to watch, the one to watch. Oh. All new things, all cool things. She's like, all the biggest trends. What do you think? What are your thoughts about threads? Ugh. Exactly. Okay. Here, yeah. we, here we I go. I joined. Same. You have to. I participated. What number were you? Now they're, they're, they're labeling us on our Instagram yeah, profile. Yeah, I was, I got early access. Is that like, what it I means? Really it's low. like the numbers are what number you, you were joined. to sign up? Yeah. yeah, I was like 2,900. Were you? Oh yeah. my Lord. I would have been earlier, but I was so lazy. They like sent yeah. me a thing. I'm like, I'm not doing this. Yeah, and then I was like, that's not that's not like shit. A day. Uh-huh. Just in case it blew up. Like I of had to join, you know? Of course. I'm a woman of the times, like you said. And they don't want to take your name. Well, they can't because it's from Instagram, which I really like. I was trying to do that originally. So I was so if there's ever a new platform, like if one, if you get like Beyonce's name right away, they have to pay you for Beyonce's name. Yeah. So so that's like Barstool Sports. We tried to switch the domain to just regular Barstool for years and years and they just wouldn't do it. Yeah. We're trying to buy the toast.com. It's impossible. They won't let Who you. The toast yeah. is just like so such a basic domain. Cinnamon toast crunch yes. has it's it. It's like $40,000 yes. and the person who has it is holding a ransom. Really? Yeah. Can we talk about the toast? I feel I would, like everyone watches- talk about nothing else. <laughs> everyone watches it. Like everyone knows what it is. How did it come to be? Like- This is the third generation. This <laughs> is- The third adoration. <laughs> Yeah, but it's like, <laughs> what's the origin? Start over the breath. Yeah, the origin Were story. You on the breath? I never made the breath, but I was always okay. jealous of you because it was um, it was a Viacom. Owned it was a, it was a Verizon, Verizon, High Verizon. Budget production. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Verizon. So we got this show and we called it the Morning Breath. It was supposed to be like a morning show yeah, yeah, for yeah. young people, and it was going to be like the View, but not you know bad and boring. <laughs> um, just like fun, loving gals, you know. And it was that we did that for about a year. The show got canceled, but you know, we had like a kind of grassroots, like this really kind of 
motivated, you know, yeah. following. Small but mighty, I would yeah. say. And so we brought it back and we called it. We couldn't take the name, even though we loved the name. We thought it was like the funniest thing ever. It was actually kind of disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> we it is kind of it. it is kind of foul. No, it's Mor- literally morning disgusting. breath. Ooh. It's literally vomit worthy. <laughs> we would do red carpets and like when we would interview people, our sign off was always like, describe your morning breath in one word. Like, ew, are we okay? Like that's <laughs> what, what it was. Like, like that cat food? People would be like vile. People would say like disgusting. It was just like, we were and gross. that's it for us. Yeah, right. It was just <laughs> disgusting. So we were so devastated when we had to give up the name, but it ended up being a blessing and we changed it to the morning toast. We yep. had like a bunch of different ideas. We landed with the morning toast and that was our name for a few years. And then uh, we stopped releasing it in the morning because we were tired and it usually would come out at like 12, one <laughs> they o'clock. They had a big cookie photo shoot and they rebranded. We rebranded. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> called it the toast anyway. Yeah. So it was just, the, it was an easy. The re-brand. toasters. And we'll be the this. Yeah, yeah. Fans. We'll be the toast for a while. Yeah, the fans. And how children. how long have so did you do like stand up before no. you did this, or you were just always you want to be on you want to be broadcasting, you want to be doing your own thing? Like, I just like I never like had time to figure out what I wanted to be yeah. because I started my like Instagram page in college, and by the time I graduated, I was making like a ton of money. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I guess I'll just do this, and I just kept <laughs> trying different things like the podcast. Yep. I tried to you know DJ. It wasn't. Ooh. You tried you you dipped your your toe in the DJ pond. I did. It's not a job for a chubby Jewess. Yeah. <laughs> it's um. It's a lot of standing. <laughs> she got you can't fingered. you can't really it's, drink because everybody else is drinking. You're supposed to be like supplying the good times. Now, were you DJing yes. when you got fingered uh, um, unexpectedly by Cuba Gooding Jr.? Oh, and we I can talk. Seen. We can talk like this. Oh, oh yeah. please. Oh, she was fingered by Cuba oh, Gooding Jr. Okay, I wasn't okay. fingered. Let okay, me, okay. Me, she was let attacked. Let for a I was not fingered. Yeah. I was sodomized. Sodomized. He stuck it in your your finger in, my, in your asshole. In my tissue, girl. girl I was 16. I grew up in New York. Okay. And when I was in high school, we like started going to clubs in Manhattan. In Manhattan, yeah, was kind of like. Dorota. Uh, have she's you heard of that? that? She's, with, she's with the Park Avenue Ashtrays. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and the Park Avenue chapter. <laughs> 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 well, we used to we used to go to clubs like on on weekends and what I, clubs? The club that we were at when it happened and uh, Cheetah, uh, a place I would frequent was called SL. Do you guys remember that place? Oh no, on Fourteenth, I think in like in Fourteenth in Washington, like me packing. Is that like, S- like SLS? No, like SL East. Remember SL East down in the Hamptons? It was like a franchise. <gasps> she totally remember that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're there, girl. Yeah, yeah. Strength and length right and tone. When- SLT, strength and length and tone. <laughs> Similar. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And we were there one night. I remember it was my friend Rachel's birthday. We were having a good time. I was sitting up and you can hear this whole story in depth on my comedy special, Disgraced Queen, available to stream on Amazon Prime. Um, But I'll give you the abridged version while we're here. I'm sitting up on a booth, you know, like girlies love to sit up on like, you know, a perched booth. And all of a sudden I just feel like a finger go up my ass. And you thought it was Jackie. (laughs) I honestly was, I didn't know what to think because, you know, I was 16. I grew up in, you know, a nice religious community. I hadn't yeah. experienced that. Yeah, especially you haven't experienced a, a ghost fingering of your, no, t- of your not touch. Not even an intentional fingering at that point. <laughs> oh was, my God. I was like, okay. <laughs> and I turned around to see, you know, maybe I bumped into something, you know, a waiter, you know, <laughs> yeah. a broom. I don't fucking know. And not only was I surprised to see like a man standing there, I was surprised to see like a famous person standing there. And it was Cuba Gooding Jr. Whom I had known from his work in Snow Dogs. Yeah. Of was this course. Before after of show course. me the money. After. After. I don't know what we It's gotta there, be after. Sorry. Jeremy oh. Bar. We can't sure, remember. Yeah, Jeremy Mark. Mark. Do you think okay. I, I don't I know. I'm four. I could be a great grandma. I'm, so I'm your bubby. I'm so young. I could be your bubby. You could. How frightening would that be? <laughs> oh so I turn around and it was Cuba Gooding Jr. And he wasn't really um, like ashamed or even remotely like anything. He was just like dying of laughter. He was laughing. He wasn't trying to hit on you. So he was like yeah, blacked out drunk and he's and he, he's literally sitting there like with literally with his finger up like uh, uh, uh. and I was like uh, hello. <laughs> and I was so young and I was like so scared. I thought I was like going to get in trouble because I was like underage drinking. Yeah. I just like, I think I ran home and I like cried and I was like worried that someone was going to like find out. Like I was going to be the one in trouble because like I was breaking curfew. Yeah. Like, I was yeah. a bad kid. <laughs> I didn't think about, you know, the the 40 year old man who stuck his finger on my ass. <laughs> and at 16? At Is 16. that what you said? Yeah. At I was, like, 16. I, I was a junior in high school. She was very scantily clad dressed though. <laughs> Were you ready? <laughs> Were you kidding? No, Listen, I was we're like not so here to chubby and shame. insecure. I was literally wearing like a moo moo. Like I was not even <laughs> being provocative. And it just became like this thing in high school. Like everybody knew. And it was like funny. And honestly, like it was hilarious. And then <laughs> everyone the, knew. I like how certain people have high school knew. rumors. It's like this person did this. this what was like the craziest Claudia thing that got, happened at your high school? Oh, oh my God. Janice made out with a hot dog. Mm, we had yeah. banana girl. Yeah. yeah, I don't even know. I mean, I think it was. 
I, I don't even know. I can't even remember high school. It was so Why, long ago. Why did you do it? Were you the person? Yeah, I was, was. yeah. So I killed someone. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I was in prison. Mine was Banana time. Girl. And I went to like a, an Orthodox Jewish school. So like we didn't have like crazy scandals. Wait, was it Banana Girl? Banana Girl. Yeah, she had some nude photos being sent <laughs> around and there was banana involved. In her pussy. Um, rectally and oh, vaginally. She, did, does, she double she penetrated herself. She, she peed. I oh, think oh, about beautiful. her all the time. I didn't even know her really, but and I ever, maybe she'll see it. Maybe, she, maybe, she, maybe she's tuning in. Same exact time. Well, she's here right now. <laughs> well, I, honestly, wherever she is, like, I really wish the best for her. I'm, I'm sure that was a difficult time. Yeah. Uh, That's Cuba Gooding came to one of my fraternity parties when I was a freshman. It's not shocking. Weirdly. He's always hanging out with underage. Yeah, why yeah, is yeah, he yeah. coming to? Why I, he children? was filming a movie he in Baton Rouge, drunk, I guess. Right. And he just showed up, and I'm drunk and 18, and I'm I'm literally yelling, "Show me the money, Adam." He uh, let, let him he, finger you. He left quickly. Oh, <laughs> oh he saw your asshole. Oh, that's, because Marty, that's because Marty came quickly. Yeah. <laughs> so he left. Oh, I remember um, on the, on the floor of H-Wing bathroom, a kid got caught jerking off. That was the big thing that mm, happened. We can cut H-wing. that from the show. I just wanted to kind of- To contribute. Full circle contribute. lots of pregnancies. A friend of mine slept- Oh, yeah. Oh, no, a friend of mine slept with- um, Slept with oh, we had Jeter. teachers. That's senior huge. Year. Senior Derek year. Jeter? Senior year, yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, my God. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Um, does Cuba Gooding know- yeah. that you tell this story. Does he know? So I told, it was just, it was never anything that was like a secret. I talked about it all the time. It was, <laughs> it was a fun fact about me, you know? Yeah. And We're talking about it now. But now that you, I don't that, that, you have millions it. of viewers that you're listening to every week. No, so. nobody even cared. No slander. Then some girl, he, he doesn't. No one cared. No one cared. Funny. No one cared. And then a girl, so he did it to a girl and she called the cops and it became big, big news. She got picked up because she was skinny. It, literally. We, 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 didn't get, we, we, got, we were trying to, we were pulling well, out all, there. Yeah. We were asking for it. She called the cops. <laughs> a woman of size. It became oh. <laughs> a woman of a woman of heft at the time. It became a huge story, and then anything I'd ever said about it on the podcast was like picked up in like Entertainment Tonight and stuff. And that oh kind of like God. it became my thing for a while, which yeah. I didn't love. I'm not gonna be honest. I have so many other fabulous attributes, but the butthole thing. I'm so glad you guys brought it up. Yeah. Like that's literally what everyone asked me about. Yeah, I'm glad we let off with that. Yeah, me too. Because I feel like if we waited for it, then it would have like almost buried the lead. Yeah, you know what I mean. Actually, it's kind of like when I meet new people, like I have to say it. You just yeah. know her. Her story. You have to come out to them before they. Right. Uh, her origin. We all have that in common. We have yeah. to all come out. We need her yes. origin story before we start. Right. Exactly. This is why you know she's covering up all the turmoil from. Right. And all we the have trauma. we have Cuba here today. Shut the fuck up. That's <laughs> Would funny. you like to come in? Yeah, but know. but that's your show has been like crushing. Joey raves about it every time he's it's on. My favorite show. Is it Thank just you. an absolute dream? Are you like? Do you pinch yourself? Like, are, is this where you want to be? Like, do you yes. want to do some? Do you want to do something else? Like, is there anything next? Or are you just focusing on what right now? No, I think I used to like view like digital and um my podcast is like a stepping stone be like i'd love to be on tv one day you don't um, have, yeah you don't and have honestly i would never make as much money on tv as i'm making now yeah i uh, nobody watches tv oh and i'm so lunch, happy with lunch on bay I told you. <laughs> <laughs> no like really there's this misconception like you get on tv you make a lot of money and you get really famous and most shows on tv get less views than my instagram story like there's yeah. there's really no unless you're on streaming there's really not it used to be the goal and now i'm just so happy where i'm at like if you i could do this your forever own way. You if created i could do, literally if i could do this forever i would you can. And I, I think you can. Well, I plan to. Yeah. Well, we would like to offer you a job here <laughs> as, no, we're talk as our that. third mic. I would <laughs> Imagine. Love to. I don't know how oh, yeah. we could all do a show consistently. Uh, there's not been to... one moment of silence. No. Oh, there's never a moment of and silence. When, I, when Joey's on my show, all he does is cut me off and I live for it. And I'm like, okay, when I, when I come in today, this is my first time on Joey's podcast. I'm like, oh, he's totally going to let me talk. I haven't said one word. Yeah. <laughs> this is, what, there will be YouTube comments. Like, comments. There'll be YouTube Force comments saying that exact thing. Well, there's people, some people have to slow us down because we talk too fast. Mile a minute. They have to like put that on YouTube. They have to slow it down. So it's like, it's usually okay if they're like, if I it's just, just us, it's fine. But if it's like a guest, sometimes it'll be like, we need to let our guests. Well, talk. I've limited time at Churdy and I have to get all my words in at once. Oh. You tell her we're going fishing tomorrow? No, we're How frightening. Fishing. Have you he doesn't want to go in the ocean. He yes, won't go I in the ocean. a fisherman of, of a father. Was he a fisherman? Yes, he was. Rest in peace. He loved to fish. We had boats. It was true. And he had four daughters. And, um... <laughs> The original Kardashians. Four, four daughters. Four Upper East Side daughters. I'm daughters. sure they loved loved fishing. And he, uh, you know, he tried. Yeah. And it wasn't for me. I can't touch. I'm not touching the fish and I'm not touching the water. The bait? What's well, I'll touch a bait. Is that, no, is that that's alive? worse. We have to it's catch like our own bait. Is it alive or dead? What, the bait? I'm honestly not oh, sure. Oh, Joey, we need to, I'm getting more details about it now. We need to catch our own bait. No. So are you guys like vlogging <laughs> this excursion? Yeah. yeah. Oh, the, good. Okay. Yeah, someone's bringing yeah. a camera. It. It's for like our it? outdoor stuff, but it's, can I tell you what the de- I like, don't even want to tell him the details because we're not on the plane yet. Do I'm it. afraid he's going to fail. Where are you going? Fail. Cape Cod. 
gorgeous this time of yeah. year. Thank you. Good. Keep, <laughs> keep telling them how much you love the cape before I drop the bad news I've never on been. But <laughs> you never been to Martha's Vineyard? I've heard it's extremely anti-Semitic. Oh, is it? Not at all. Oh. Martha's Vineyard to, has, a, there's a lot of Jews I went to Nantucket once and I just oh, did that's not, I did not feel safe. I did, oh, you did not it? feel yeah. safe. Oh, Between you all know? like the, you know, the hilly streets, my calves were killing me. It was not built for Jews. Everything is so tiny. David uh, Portnoy's favorite place in the world is Nantucket. He's, he's, a, he's a fellow Jew. Well, we don't have that in common. <laughs> we don't have you met Dave Portnoy? No. I think you'd be a good peers. I'm okay. surprised you're not, not in the same circle. You run the same circles. Well, as Jill Zarin once said, I run in a fabulous circle of people. <laughs> I know. I do. I you do. do. You do. You do. So do you. Uh -huh. Who's your best friend? Your you know, best wait, famous I, I friend. I meant to tell you this. I'll tell you that in one okay. second. Make sure to follow up with that. Yep. I don't know if I ever told you this. <laughs> But the fact that like you and I are so close and like you're also like best friends with Snooki. Yeah. I don't know if you know this, but like when I was in high school, I literally got told I looked so much like Snooki oh when I was god. in high school. You we tan? had the same face. We literally were so similar looking. <laughs> oh my god. And then, you know, she was like in the early years, like a little heavier. Yeah. I um, mean then she lost weight and everybody, you know, stopped saying we looked alike. But <laughs> it was I dressed up as her for Halloween. Like I literally was obsessed she with Snooki. She loves you. You know she loves I, you. You know She hates it? everyone. She raised me. Yeah. Like I watch that show every week. I still watch it on it's Stop. on Hulu. Like I think it's the best show. Like I could literally write a college dissertation about how Jersey Shore like changed the landscape of media. Um, but the fact that you and I like you have two best friends and I we're best friends. Right? Yeah, sure, yeah. yeah, sure, <laughs> absolutely. Oh, okay. Um, I, I needed to tell you like in when I ran for student government in high school. Oh, here we I, go. Yeah, I Treasure. lost, and I'm still upset about Was it. Was this pre or post scandal? Pray. Okay, cool. Um, she, she was she getting into politics that quickly after. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. The campaign trail? Get out of here. She, she got ahead of the, she got ahead of the story. Carol. Carol. But I had this campaign and it was GTL. So I went to like a Jewish day school. So my um my slogan instead of gym tan laundry was gym tour learning. Oh, <laughs> I love that. And I put my face on Snooki's like poof. I use like face and hole.com and I put them all over the school and I proceeded to lose, which was devastating because nobody's campaign was nearly as creative as mine. Right. No. Um, but that's just like a part of my history. And I forgot to share that with you for it's the many years that I've known you. on the show, but thank Sorry, you. Sorry, my her history. Um, <laughs> thank you for saying, do you know that Nicole? And you know this for a fact. And, yeah. And, and, and there's like a celebrity or like a girl that's like, you know, in the same media or same genre as her. Mm -hmm. She gets crazy over jealous and like Relatable. hates it. Like me and like, yeah. she like, she has like, she sends like, when I hang out with Caitlin uh, Bristow, she's mm -hmm. like, wants to kill herself. She's like, why do you hang out with her? She's like, when I hang out with you, she goes, she's the only one I want you to hang out with. She goes, she gets a pass. I like her. No, I'm telling you, she sees something in me that <laughs> no, she I does. saw in her. Like, I'm obsessed. No, for sure. She's like, she goes, she goes I like her. She goes, she's the only one you're allowed to hang out with. I said, well, good. Oh my God, you don't know what that means to me. She was jealous when we first, when we first started hanging yeah. out too. Like, I'm the same brutally. way. She can't have other gay friends. I, she, I can't have, I can't have any other, you know, pe uh, you know she can't have gay friends. Rich, uh, no, not other gay friends. She has, well, she has, well, no, she has Fabiani kind of. Well, that's of, we're in yeah. the same realm. Yeah. Um, we're seeing a gay psychic tonight. <gasps> How exciting. Thomas John is coming to her house. Oh my God. We were just talking I about know, because him. You know Taylor him? Strecker, no. no. Taylor Strecker and her wife, they were at her birthday party. Yep. Taylor and Taylor. Yeah. Um, they are, they're big fans of he, They go to him all the time. Is he like a, so like a I celebrity? Know. Like, or is he just like a guy who everyone knows? You know what's so I funny? think he's an insider person. Uh -huh. You know when you like hear someone's name for the first time yeah. and then you proceed to just hear it like every week? I had yeah. never heard of this person. Somebody brought him up to me like three weeks ago. I swear to God, I can't go a day without somebody bringing him up now. I know. He's sending signals. He's a hot commodity <laughs> right <Psychically. now. laughs> He's sending So signals. I'm bringing me and my father over there to speak to my dead mother via Ouija. Oh, that's so um, exciting. I know I'm excited, but I want to see, um, I want to talk to him. I have a few questions for her. You have goosebumps. What do you want to ask? I just want to know that there's somewhere after this. Yeah, me too. Do you oh know? Let me know I hate, I hate that. I hate no, not knowing. Make sure to, to follow up with me. You yeah. go to Five Guys. Five Guys? They're open after this. What are you talking about? Oh, we're talking oh. about the afterlife. Oh, the afterlife. afterlife. We're talking oh, about after okay, all okay, of this. Okay, yeah, and she can't have meat and cheese together. After, you mean like after death? She keeps kosher. I do. Are you kosher? You know, I make up my own rules, but yes. like Kosher I do. light. Kosher turdy's way. Yeah. Wait, to expose Turdy. Turdy is her alter ego. Trudy this Lou. is your drag name. No, her it's drag name. It's not my drag name. You said it was your drag name. No, no. Okay. Uh, okay. It's not my drag name. Turdy Lou is what everybody on the podcast calls me. Turdy Lou. It started, oh, okay. Remember when Emily Ratajkowski got divorced from Sebastian McClurd? Yeah. Yes. My sister started calling me McClurdia. <laughs> and then it was Clurd, and then it was Turd, then it was Turdy, then it was Turdy Lou, and then during the Murdaugh trials, it was Turdy Lou Murdaugh. During the Man. Murdaugh trials. Yeah, because Turdy Lou gives he like Southern oh Bell energy. Oh my God. He, he, uh, sent me a tick he tick talked about me. Who? Oh, because he said he was dating I, I the guy who killed the, the person. The, the guy. Steven? The girl. No, not Steven. The, no, the, the boyfriend. The boyfriend, the boyfriend of the girl that died. No, the boyfriend who lived. Anthony. 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 Yeah. So yes. I'm dating Anthony, and they so he, it went he, mega he, viral. He, he uh, sits my thing. Goes, goes, the yeah. fuck I ain't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I ain't dating no queer. Oh, I was like, oh, 
Thank you. That's huge. Thank you. Oh my God. Well, I'm just kind of like a, a supplemental character, Turdy Lou Murda. Murda. So <laughs> Turdy Lou is not my is drag not my name. drag name. Now I've been told my drag name is extremely heteronormative, okay. which is extremely on brand for me. Mm. Um, but if I were you guys have seen Miss Congeniality, right? Yeah. Okay. Disgracey Lou Freebush. Ooh. Disgracey Lou I think it's very Freebush? original. Now, I she, love now, that. Marty Freebush many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> What's your drag name, Joe? I need a snack. Love. <laughs> I need a I need a body wax. She need a body wax. She need she, she need a body wax. Yeah, she needs Love. a body wax. She does. I know. You don't wax. You're just the same. my husband's really hairy too. I know. Does your partner find it? Tantalizing? I think he likes it. Yeah. I'm so I was gonna invite him that night, but um. I, I know, I but I spoke to him on Facetime, right? Oh, we did speak on Facetime. Yeah, I you met, met him. him on Facetime. Very, yeah. very handsome Thoughts. young fellow. Very, very handsome. Very right? handsome. Nicest guy ever. It was so loud. I did not hear one word he said, but I'm just sitting there on Facetime, like, mm-hmm. no, I totally mm-hmm. agree. <laughs> Can we talk? Now, I was not the only. I want to talk about our little after party we went to. Yeah. Uh, there was a. He was asking about it. Where'd you go? And he goes, you, "Were you there the night that it was? It was. Oh, I was it with was, my was, my like, friend was there that night. The hot basement that was everyone was dying. I said that was us. Yeah, we were in the hot basement. It was like over ninety degrees, right? It was a. She I, had to leave. I had to leave in the middle of the Irish so accident. Hot. And I watched you do it. And I, was I said, so upset. I, said? I was having such a good time. I was literally shoving ice down my dress. Like, one thing about me, <laughs> and it's like, it's something I'm really trying to work on. But like, when I hit a wall, whether that be physically, emotionally, spiritually, metaphysically, like, I'm done. And I can't yep. be brought back from the dead, you know, whether I'm drinking or I'm There's out. There's no wearing, rally for you ever. There's, when I'm done, I'm fucking done. <laughs> yeah. And it sucks because I'm like so amazing and vivacious. The party kind of ends when, when I end. Yeah, right. everyone exactly. I, I bear yeah, that responsibility. It's a kind of a burden. But, oh, for I sure, just, burden. That I struggle yeah, the with. It's a weight. The it's going to be a weight. Wait. Yeah. The lesbians left shortly after you. They went to uh, Marie's Crisis. The gay. Well, the lesbians were waiting to go to Marie's Crisis. They went to Henry. The gay. The gay Henretta. went to a hookup's house. Of course he did. Um, and me, I was left. Me and me and uh, me and Margot were left. Sta- and left, what'd you left, do? left girl standing. We hung out there for a little bit until they, uh, they hooked until up. They left. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> believe it or not, she's pregnant. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Joey. I would love that. <laughs> yeah. So that was a lot of fun. Now, Stan, we're talking about Stan. You know, she sells out theater theaters. Yes, you're theaters. telling us. You're, are you like? Are you on tour? <laughs> I'm not currently she's saving it, but she's, you're going to go she's that successful. She doesn't have to do that for oh as, as much as she wants. I wrapped my tour in December. It was fabulous. It was on tour for a year at oh the MSG God. theater. Uh, no, I didn't wrap it at Madison square garden theater. Where'd you wrap it? That's what I mean. Oh, I wrapped it at Gramercy theater. I filmed my special. Oh, oh fun. it was a small intimate affair. You know, 300 of my closest I prefer friends. Not to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'll probably go back on tour next year. I like to take breaks, especially cause I do the podcast yes. every day. So I can't be like out for weeks at a time. So I stretch it out. So usually about a year. How do you come up with new content every fucking day? Oh, every day. I just, you know, I'm telling you the most moronic shit happens to me. Like the universe, <laughs> like the, the weirdest shit, like nothing ever goes my way. Like right. I can't have like a normal human social interaction and I'm an extremely <laughs> normal person. Like it's not me. It's, it's everyone else. And I just find I always have shit to say. I've copied your, uh, for years. Every time I have to do a celebrity gossip segment, I just go onto the toast and I, whatever you guys say, I say those in the new, I don't even go on to like any uh, BuzzFeed or anything anymore. I just go right to your podcast. I, get, I find out the top five stories of the day. I write them down and I just copy exactly verbatim what I you think, said. He's admitting to plagiarism? Yeah. No, seriously, it's <laughs> the best place to go because I, I, I know that you guys are doing it. So we've been copying you, actually. No, we now do. We have you. I know if they're saying it, they, they already skimmed through all the, all the hard work for us. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's the beauty of them that's being okay. the public that's, eye. That is okay with me. We have your me. permission. Imitation is the sincere form of flattery. Yeah. We go, Marty, hit it. The label changes. Me and Jackie. The burnt toast with Joey and Trish. Right. Oh my god! That's what they call like older toasters. They call themselves like burnt stale toast. Do you know that? Do you guys? How old do you think I am? Forty-four. You're ninety-two. Yeah, you knew that. (laughs) And you look at me. I look my age. Thirty-six. Cool. (laughs) Yikes. Thirty-three. Yikes. Yikes. Yes. That's a lot of drugs. Yes. Proper Wild is a clean all day energy shot designed to boost your energy focus and productivity without giving you the jitters or the crash. Right. No preservatives, no artificial sweeteners, no horrible chemicals, just natural tasting energy shot with clean ingredients that work. This is great because we had it while we were fishing. And I'll tell you this, getting up at 3.30 in the morning is not oh my easy. God. Getting up at 8.30 in the morning sometimes isn't easy. 10, 10 a.m., noon, it doesn't matter when you get up. This is something that's going to help you start your day. It's going to keep you energized. You're going to feel clean and you're going to feel healthy. And it comes in a convenient little shot. So you can just stuff it right in your pocket without walking around with some big clunky, gross energy drink with all these sugars, all this nastiness. And the best part is you put this in alcohol drinks. I do. Alcohol I like drinks. to mix it up. So then you're plain old vodka seltzer, tequila seltzer. 
there. It's not very tasty. It's kind of very boring. Um, and it doesn't have any, um, any nutrients in it really. None. So yeah. So I add the, uh, I add a shot of the whole, actually the whole bottle of proper wild <laughs> to it, depending on the flavor I'm in the mood for. And I get, you know, I get energy from it. Um, it gets a nice, delicious flavor and it makes your drink enjoyable. Um, I love it on the boat because I didn't have to drink a ton of coffee right. and have to pee every time. So you don't know where you have to pee. I have to, you don't have to take a ton of liquid. And so I see one energy sh uh, shot with it. And I was able to be energized and have to drink a ton of coffee because you never know where your best bathroom is coming from when you're on that boat. Absolutely. And the best part is there's no crash, no jitter. So check out Proper Wild. Go to properwild.com slash barstool. And we're going to give you guys 30% off. Go to properwild.com slash barstool to try Proper Wild for 30% off. I grew up Elvis with some of um, Hollywood's elite. I do. It's and my favorite parts of my job. Yeah, yeah. it is. So yeah. she's always at dinner parties. Kim Kardashian's always walking behind her. Oh you and Paris Hilton are very close. Yes. Why have you five never asked to be a plus one to her birthday parties you go to every year? Don't think I don't see them. No, it's a good question. You just, um, we'd met me and her. Yes. No, I don't let her talk. Let her talk. You just, please, God, I can't wait to hear what this is. You no. just, I'm gonna, you say, uh, you're gonna say, I'm gonna try to take the limelight. <laughs> I wouldn't want you, you know, your star to outshine mine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, but it That's actually That's a mid-sentence audible, as they call I it. Try, you know, I, know I try and spread the wealth. Distribute I have lots it, of sisters. Lot. So I just, you never asked. I know. Now I'll think of you. Yeah. Just think of you. Not and also, <laughs> sometimes I feel like it's better to go to those things alone. Yeah. Yeah. So you can just kind of like, you know- Sparkle and shine on your own, and like you know, I got invited people. to a, um, a Clawson via Smith Society party just the other day. You did? <laughs> it's gonna be very high, high end, high end party. Yeah, I believe it was this morning when I texted. Yes. you. Oh my it god! I hope you both can You're attend. You're teaming up with Clawson. Thank you. We are for a new flavor. When does this episode come out? Next when? Wednesday. This Wednesday. Is it tonight? Like tomorrow? No, next a week from tomorrow. Oh, we're good. Yeah, we're doing a pickle spritz. Ooh, Ooh. doesn't leave this room. So Spritz is her canned cocktail. <laughs> can, her, her and her husband's canned cocktail. It's a wine-based canned cocktail. Yummy. Yeah, it's very delicious. And two years ago on uh, April Fool's, we did like our new flavor and it was pickle and people did not think it was a funny joke. They were like, well, can we actually get it? And it took two whole years, but we finally did it. It's like, it's almost like a martini in a way, like it's like a pickle martini. Um, no, I wouldn't say that. I would say more like a pickleback. Ooh, Ooh, I like picklebacks. Yes. Slightly sweet. He loves picklebacks. Picklebacks. I like Jameson. So. Oh. I've never had a pickleback. Um, never. Well, it's just Jameson and, and, and pickle, pickle juice. juice. That's it. The pickle yeah. juice right. chases, right? You know, I don't want to, you know, speak ill, but I don't like pickles, so I actually haven't even tried the pickle spritz. But everybody else seems to love it. But you just Sounds you just like a pickle flavor. You teamed up with one of the largest pickle distributors in, in the Northeast. Well, yeah. Dill, Clawson, Clawson. Oh, that's the Clawson. stork. It's the, yes. Hans. That's this. Oh. I'll take a bite out of that. What's it say? One more time. I don't go. I go buy a pickle. I want pickle. That's it. The story. That's exactly what he said. Did you do that yeah. at the party? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Synergy. Um, you were rubbing elbows the other day in the Hamptons with Alex Earl. I was. Yes. How was she in person? She. She. Now she, now she doesn't do podcasts or any interviews. No. Did you get any juicy gossip out of her? Is she dating that guy? Uh, I didn't get what any guy? juicy gossip out of her. I don't like to like be obnoxious and like ask people questions. Is it the first time you met her? No, I just watch everything, you know? Yeah. Um, so yes, I do believe she is dating that guy based okay, on he was there. My, what I saw. Was yeah, she my... getting fingered by him? No. She was getting fingered by people. Was inside. <laughs> um, do you think, what do you think about her? She's a nice girl, right? She's lovely. I'm so Everyone... interest, intrigued by her, like skyrocket to fame. Mm -hmm. I think she has a long career ahead of her and I'm having a really good time watching it. And me I'm too. always buying shit. Like she's swiping up. I'm like, yes, purchase, purchase. Oh, wow. I just think it's going to make me look like her, but, um, Right. It doesn't. We're going to get into obsessions with her in a second. We are. Um, are you obsessed? Do, I'm, I love her. Me too. Do, do you know too. the Adam 22 story? Is no. this like to the guy, the no jumper guy? Should we even talk about that? Is that like. I mean, I, I'm sure you've seen it. So he, Adam 22 and his wife, Lena the Plug, they do a show called Plug Talk where. These are people's names? Yeah. yeah. It's on, uh, it's on, it's on OnlyFans only where they do like a 30 minute oh, interview. I'm familiar. Yeah. And the wife fucks someone yeah, else. Yeah. Of yes. course. Yes. yes. Thoughts. Uh, could never be me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, respect the hustle. You know, I'm the type of gal. You lost your virginity to your husband. I did lose my virginity to my husband. Oh, what, what, how long have you been married? So did I. Uh, <laughs> <even not. laughs> we've we been together for 10 years so I met him when I was 18 oh, wow. um, he was my first boyfriend and we just got married like not like you know it wasn't like a like intentional like I was saving myself I just yeah. like happened to just like fuck him and then marry him she was, <laughs> on, say, she was on say yes to the dress that's Please the don't, like, I don't, why are you so shy about I, that I'm not shy I was <laughs> I was literally <laughs> always upset cringe about about it. you're so shy no, I was she's really up. shy she's really shy and she's you really want to hear something disgusting yesterday was my birthday and they were re-airing my episode on TLC why do you hate it okay I went in there. 
with one. I feel like they people, surprised you for being on the show. Kleinfeld. No, no I no. knew I was going to be on, and I went in there and I had one. I didn't know what I really wanted. I feel like girls go in there. They're like, I want an A line mermaid right. tail, whatever. I just knew <laughs> I wanted long sleeves. Yeah. Oh my God. The way this dramatic queen was like, oh my God, long sleeves. She's like, she's so difficult. She's running around the store like a, a chicken with her head cut off. Where am I? Like she you act like I was asking for like a black snake skin wedding dress. I just <laughs> wanted long sleeves. And then they like, they, I was like, you know, like really, you know, um, like they were branding me so much as like an influencer. So they were like asking me the dumbest questions yeah, yeah, like yeah. about Instagram. Cause the show is for like six year olds who can't find right. the remote. So I was just being <laughs> so like, like vapid. We're supposed to be like vapid and like, and then like it's spoiled in a way. Yeah. And then, oh, of course. Oh, I'm sorry. I buried the lead. <laughs> There's two. Cuba Gooding was actually Listen there at the time. Listen, yeah. <laughs> there were two brides per episode. They like flash yeah. between one family and the other. Do you know who the other bride was on my episode? <laughs> Rachel Dolezal. <laughs> oh, worse. Oh. A lovely girl from Louisiana whose entire house flooded in the Louisiana flood. Stop. Including her wedding dress. So Kleinfeld was gonna give her a new dress, but when they saw the disarray, you know, the state of disarray and, you know, just the state of her house and her family and her community, they decided to pay for her whole wedding. You're kidding so me. They are chopping between that poor girl literally like sifting through her mobile home <laughs> in Louisiana looking for pictures of her ancestors to me on my phone with my sisters talking Okay, like $200,000 my followers. With, like, buying like a $10,000 dress. Like yeah. horrible. Your $200,000 Torah. I made was, up all little crystals. I was set up, Joey. I know. Well, that's why. That's why. why I don't like to talk about it. And everyone thinks that she has a certain idea of her now. Yeah. That's not the church. That's people not the real church. Wait, how long have you been married? Um, What year is it? 2023. Six years. Six years. Yeah. Oh, my, your ring is blindingly beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank That's you. A blood diamond. I cleaned it a It's lot. a blood diamond. Yes. I saw the movie and was so inspired. I went That's straight to you, Africa. You went right to the mine yourself? <laughs> yeah. I was ready to do it. I put it up my butt and then keep getting she, to fish it out. She is the most interesting woman in, in the media right now. I know. Who's, who's your- we have, so, we have so many of the same fans, you know, so same podcasting. Like everyone has kind of the same- same group of people because our personalities all kind of the same yes. shit. It's like, you know, a bunch of us podcasters like Taylor and, uh -huh. you know, um, Heather the, McMahon the and, you know, Joe it's, Rogan. It's the, Joe Rogan. Yeah. You know, the, the girls, girls, the girls, girls. Him. So everyone kind of likes the same thing. So a lot of people know, you know, mix and mingle. But everyone says, you know, you all should come to meet. And this guy. For them, it's kind of like a big orgy for them. Yeah. Oh, it's like, absolutely. You know, like they're crossing like paths. It's like, it's a good thing for everyone. Um, Have you had an orgy? Yes. Do you want to see a picture? <laughs> Would, I would seriously love nothing more. If you Are you sure? Happen. Yeah. You're going to see a lot of- Just don't show it on the camera. You're going to see a lot of men's asshole. I'm okay, ready? I right used now. to be a part of this group chat. Um, that Upper like, Side Moms? No, it's, oh. it's somebody put me in it. It's the craziest thing. It's like over a hundred people and I didn't have, I had like two numbers in it, but it was like all A-list celebrities, like literally the most famous people you could think of. And everyone would like put in the most disturbing sexual videos that they could find. Like I have seen the most, I saw this guy fucking a chicken. I saw they had like, you know, a little person what? riding a dildo on a drying machine. Like the most Lucky. insane fucking videos <laughs> that would be in this chat. Do you still have the chat? <laughs> I got a new phone. I actually don't. That is insane. It was incredibly disturbing. You, who are the two people who you're doing it? You can't say. Of course not. But I'll it, tell you afterwards. It was Joey and I. <laughs> we were the ones. Are you finding the orgy video? I am getting- oh, the video? I was, I was still photo. We'll set it up. Look, Dana Beers texted me. Can I please take a picture with Claudia? Everyone- Who's Dana Beers? Dana Beers, his wife is lovely. His girlfriend's, girlfriend's lovely. She's I love everyone. Dana. So, so Jordan, oh. Jordan Barry, who's listening, watching us right now, probably yeah. in the green screen. Hey. Jordan Barry and um, Jillian Stern are- two of the biggest toasters in the office. Literally, they were like yes. screaming. Like, every time I come home, like, I come home from your show, like, oh my God, you were with Claudia, you are with Claudia there, I love you. Oh, well. Um, so we, can, we do a, can we do a toast walk <laughs> of course, around I'd the office? I'd love to meet the fan. Oh, around the office? Sure. Yeah. Do I still cool. have your pride float? Yes. Okay, yeah, we can come? take it around the office. Love, yeah. It's parked love. in the KFC studio. There's so many toasters here. I love like, that. Not people want to respect you because of your... Um, how you're leading the way for all these podcasters, but oh, also hardly. because no, because if you, I'm leading the way, we're in trouble. Because <laughs> what you've done, for what you've done for the community. Okay, you, you're talking a big game down. with the. Let me set it up while he finds it, and then okay. we're gonna play a little obsessions no, Joey, with you. Yeah. Or, can somebody hand me my diet coke? I just have such small. Where is limbs it? Right there. Oh yes. How'd you get a diet coke? Did they bring us for you? I um requested it. No, I. Just, you had it in your like rider. You said everybody who works here is a toaster, so they did. Do Jordan Barry bring that for you? Um. She, the I, I don't want to get anyone in trouble. Like I feel like no, you you know, I tried to take a Coke Zero off Brandon. No, you yesterday. tried to steal like prop Coca Colas like that are part Coke of a Zero. sponsor. Yeah. Do you want Shime? Yes, of course I do. That's fucking show. I'm not telling you boring, but you guys are really boring. Really boring. <laughs> I can't do that. Accent. <laughs> say nar. Hi, guy. N a r. Say nar. So nar. Crazy. It's like no. 
You drank my fucking Coke Zero. I have this orgy because this isn't me. I have a picture of me before a lesbian. Show and honestly, I feel like now that we're talking about it so much, you've never had an orgy and you were talking a big game. Well, I was involved. Involved. He was involved. He was sitting there filming it. I wasn't from the back. Here we go. Oh, you, it's in. It's in. Oh, so you were the cinematographer. Yes. You were hired help. He was. No. He was the gaffer. <laughs> yes. Recent. It's up here. Re- oh, it's recent. Every once in a while, he, he, like a he duplicates. Flex. Take a look. <gasps> Behind me, I was there at the. Origin. Is that the photo, Joe? I'm in yeah. shock. First of all, so the, not at the to be size made, of the men. How fucking fat you were! Like, yeah, I know. I oh my! Even, I didn't even realize. Like. You've lost wait, so much weight. You're so handsome. Thank like, you. No matter when. Now, why aren't you participating? I didn't. No one asked me to be participating with it. So you I just think that's out. a house is where you need to be invited to do it? Some There's strangers. a thousand guys sucking each other's cocks. Some stranger's house. I wasn't asked to be part of it. But you're sitting there shirtless. So like right. you thought about it. You just didn't follow through. Were you yeah, I didn't hear it. I didn't care. And I, I was just there for like, you know, the Oh, wait, drugs. I'm sorry. Who took the photo? My other friend who wasn't invited either. So <laughs> I said, the next picture is him sitting. If you swipe, I believe it's him. Isn't that there. crazy? You're, that you're not invited to an orgy, that yet you're there. <laughs> oh, wait, here's a video. Oh, yeah, there's a video. <laughs> is this where they're just, is there people this fucking is like in the video? and grinding and doing it all. Thank you so much. I'm you're so welcome. glad I saw that. Good thing we need to watch it. Can you, can you, now what would happen if we were at Sh- uh, Shabbat? Can I pass it around the table? Oh, do not bring Shabbat into this when we're yeah. talking about that. Okay. <laughs> no, that's not nice. Can I be invited to Shabbat though? Of course you can. I know how you're Just leave your how, phone at home. Yeah. I will. Leave that what video specifically. Do you guys do Shabbat? At family at home? Um, I mean, my parents still go to temple every Friday, but wow. like, it's not like a huge. They have thing. good parties. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The best. I mean, yeah. own eggs. Own eggs. Yeah. yeah. What's that mean? Where you, give me your background. Uh, I'm actually from Louisiana, so it was a weird. Yeah. It was a weird way to grow up as a Jew at your at the only Do Jew your at a. Parents still live in Louisiana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a community there? Are you talking about uh, it's Black? it's dying very rapidly. Oh, that's so yeah, sad. yeah, yeah. Because no one wants to stay there, so Where'd it's you like go to college. LSU. A five. No, no, uh, Sammy, actually. Same thing. She went to NYU. Go to Tigers. No, I didn't go to Tish. Tish. Oh. I would have loved to go to Tish. Were you there the same time as Mary-Kate and Ashley? <laughs> no, I was there the same time as Dylan Nicole Sprouse. Oh. Wow. Yeah. He's got and, dick pics I'm on sorry, the internet. honorable mention, Anna Sophia Robb. Oh. Wow. Bridge to Terabithia. Good you know, Dylan Sprouse. Do gay people know Anna Sophia Robb, or are you both just pretending no, to? No, we don't know. We don't, we don't know. I knew yeah, it. we don't. We looked at each you other. Guys, he looked at me. I looked at me. Like, oh. You guys ever saw the Carrie Diaries? No. no. Carrie Bradshaw? Yeah, they did like a prequel with Anna oh, Sophia Robb. I remember her. But oh. she rose to fame, and there was like this kids' book when we were all kids. Well, maybe not we all, but like when I was kids. Um, <laughs> called Bridge to Terabithia. And it was well, about this like, you know, these forlorn kids who like lived on a dirt road or whatever, and they like had found this creek and they like made a bridge and it was like magical or whatever. Oh. And they did the screen adaptation, and that's where Anna Sophia Robb came into. Hollywood. Well, Marty's actually the troll from under that bridge. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> <laughs> now, Marty, before these two queers started the show, what were you doing? Uh, I moved Playboy here. Uh, I moved to New York. I got Playboy. hired with a different guy that used to work here. I guess now. Oh, but he got canceled for he got canceled for saying something bad and got fired. Remember, I told you about him. Oh wait, he sung a, he friend. sung a lyric. Oh, you did. Yeah, yeah. No, that's who I moved here to work with, and Yikes. then uh, just <laughs> yeah, yeah, started uh, working with Pat, and like we've been doing this for like a year and a half now, and it's yeah, yeah, Very yeah. And Joey, are you happy here? Oh, I love it. Okay, good. oh, I love it. 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 We just redecorate. I'll show <laughs> you the office O'Malley. later. Um, have you guys you had any sort of like HR violations? Oh, I'm sure. God, please. I mean, I mean nothing every bad. Nothing, day. Knock, knock on wood. Knock on wood. Nothing yet. I mean, I'm a little wild card. I think they kind of know. I think they can know. Well, we had an intern here today, and when he walked in, I got nervous because yes, I knew yeah. how he gets. You no, know, he gets ravenous. Have he you had interns have. before? No. Good. Yeah. Don't, it's just, are your it's interns paid? No. Are they? Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. You oh, they have, are paid. You have to pay interns yeah. now, right? Right. Right. Unless you're Alex Bennett, oh. then she just kind of <laughs> pays them an Instagram followers, which I guess is a form of payment. Oh, but I try to be, I try to behave as much as I can. Is it hard for you? Not really. It's hard. I, mean, I try. I mean, they, the thing is, we have the gay. We have the gay. Um, Card. Gay. It's like we get a, we get so a pass. We get a pass true. for a lot so of we things. We can say the, the wildest shit, but like nicely with a smile on our face, and people just kind of go. Oh, okay. Well, that's like so the gay community. Well, like they'll the say the nastiest fucking shit to your face, but like you don't realize it was so fucking rude until five minutes later. <laughs> yeah, and they just like code. They have code words. They'll be like, "Oh, that's such a darling sweater." Oh, you're so blessed. Yeah. And it's How like, sweet is this sweetheart darling or should I kill myself? <laughs> now, her best, her GF, her GF yeah. is um, Brian Kelly, the yes. guy. Have you the had him on the show? Guy? I have not had him on the show. You guys should do an over? episode with him where he does. We like need finance. to learn. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's taboo because his best friend is also a, uh, a points lady. Miss, you know? Mrs. Dow Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Dow Jones. Do you know her? I do not know her, but I know that her and Brian are very friendly. Oh, they are friendly. She it's was all just good. with Brian at the, and they at the their... Broadway show. Yeah. It's yeah, all yeah. good. Okay, good. She's oh, great. And you know what I do know about her? Yeah. 
Okay, this is the best story. She's an Upper East or okay. a Manhattan girl, too. So, so yeah. my uh, dog, son, Theo, goes for walks. <laughs> um, and he goes with Jackie's dog, too, when Jackie lived in New York, Bruno. And there was, like, this kind of, like, cool, you know, girl gang of dogs. And Jackie kind of noticed how there was this one dog who, like, was always at the walks. Every now and then, you know, like, somebody would leave, come back. <sighs> Please don't even tell me this is Haley's was, dog, and Walker. And there was this one the- dog. And so Jackie and I started to just, like, like joke and think about how like this dog obviously comes from a broken home because he's like always on the walk. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we were like trying to find out information about the dogs and we were like the celebrity we dog were stalking walkers. like the dog walk and like, whoever was tagging Theo in photos. And we found out that <laughs> we found out that the dog's name is Mystery. And we were like, Mystery. <laughs> That's Haley's dog. We were like, Mystery Mis- comes from a broken home. We like literally created this whole backstory for Mystery. And then we found out they were like Insta- I think we were talking about it on the podcast and people were like putting it together. This is Upper East Side dog. fucking problems. Rich Mis- Upper East Side problems. Mysterious, mysterious. Mysterious Dow Jones, yep. she called, and she'll sit on her porch and she'll go, mysterious, and call and the it's dog. Her dog. I that never is thought of that. So you know whose funny. kids go to preschools? It's a mini poodle, black, but, right? Yes, black, yeah. right? Yes, he's awful. He bit what? me yesterday. What a I stay away privilege from those dogs. Uh, yeah. a pack of bitches those girls were. <laughs> you don't even know. I saw them walking around. I saw them, I saw them this morning because when I walk to work is when the walk starts. So he had left a few minutes before. I'm walking around town. I saw the crew. Theo pretended he didn't even see me. Wait, you were on the, this is, where do you live? Upper East Side? Or are you? Yes. In, okay. So she's shipping her dog up to her. I need to talk to her about this. Where she lives. She's she doesn't shipping. We're like, uh, we're. Oh, we're no, but I, well, the dog wants, is with her. For the dog. That's it's so funny. Every side take walk. It's so funny. She was, she's like, she's trying to like stay out of her parents' place and this and that. Um, so she moved to Brooklyn. But like at, when her parents go away, I'll be like, where are you right now? And she'll uptown. reluctantly say she's uptown with the dog. That's so funny. It's the best so life funny. for the dog. It's the best life for the dog. Do they bring the to Central Park? You know, I actually don't know what they do. Yeah. You know, the route. Yeah. I don't know the route. I think it's better not to know. Yeah, I think, yeah. It's, I think it's better not to know. You know, I'm a working mom. I can't yeah. be like so involved. Exactly. You need you your know. space. I need my space. I need to be able to like delegate responsibilities. Do you think later that he's going to resent you for, for bringing work all the time? No, because he lives a fabulous life. Yeah. You know, and we can't have that life and all those luxuries if mom's not out, you know, whoring herself out like this. Face the intensity with Takis, the most intense snack ever. Takis makes the best and most intense snacks like Takis Waves, Kettles Hot Nuts, Takis Sticks, Takis Pops and Takis Roll. And for the people who still want the intensity without the spice, you must try their intense nacho. Mm-hmm. The first not, I'm sorry, the first non-spicy Takis flavor, insanely cheesy, but still super intense. Takis are the perfect snack for any occasion, road trips, gaming. I'm going to throw fishing in there, watching TV, chilling, hanging out with friends, no matter what you're doing, having Takis snacks on hand makes the day that much more intense, which brings me to my Takis intense moment of the week. And this could even be the entire month. And that was my motion sickness after our fishing trip, I sat on that bed, Marty, I kid you not. It felt like I was moving for a good like day and a half after. When we recorded the intro for Friday's show, I couldn't even keep my head straight. I was like delirious. It was so intense. Uh, but Takis helped me get through it. Okay. Because there's nothing more than that. Joey, what's your Takis? My intense Takis moment? intense moment of the week was I went to Whole Foods the other day and there were no carts. If you know, my, <laughs> you know me and there's no carts, I freak out. So I started getting real heated and I finally had to go walk through the store, running around looking for the cart. It was like finding, like the, finding the last um, diamond on the diamond of mine. I went and fa- <laughs> finally found one right in the nick of time before someone else got it. And I whisked it away from them. And I got the last cart at Whole Foods. So very intense. We love that. Takis, uh, try them today and face the intensity. Try Takis today and face the intensity. You guys are going to love it. How old is your dog and what kind of dog? He's a King Charles Cavalier. And I believe... Um, What's a King Charles Cavalier? What's it like? Like It's like the best, most cutest dog you could possibly think of. Okay. Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> and I believe he just turned six. <gasps> That's such a good age. You're like so calm, but healthy and yep. young. Oh. Yep. Can we just talk about one other topic? Speaking of Charlotte York. Have you watched the new episode? Reluctantly, yes. She's Wait, a which cum, is the most recent she one. She is a cum pig. With the, um, Who's a cum yes, pig? Charlotte York it. is a cum pig. I'm Why? saying it right here. She's a cum. If you watch a new, she wants hair. She's a just disgusting she's cum pig. She's a cum guzzling takes, takes one to know one. Yeah. It is um, the new episode of Hub and Just Like That. I would love your thoughts, you know, as a leader of the queer community. Okay, would you rather? <laughs> would you rather? Would you, would you, no, you, I had a question. You oh, yeah, cut me off. Sorry. Um, as a leader of the <laughs> queer community, what are your thoughts on Che and Miranda? I was just about to say that. It is the most cringeworthy thing ever. I was just saying, if I could, what would be more satisfying? Killing, like, the killer of one of my family members or killing Shay Diaz and it'd be just killing Shay Diaz. Shay Diaz. It's the most, ob- <laughs> Shay Diaz. It's the most ob- like, the gross character I've ever seen. Not because not because they're not binary. It's because they're just the most like obnoxious, like self- unself-aware. Like worse than Carrie Bradshaw. Carrie worse Bradshaw. Worse than Carrie, yeah. Um, Keep going. I feel like, yeah, I feel just- like what's it called? Um, um, Kelly Osbourne when she said about the Mexicans in the story. Oh my God, that- I talk about that. <laughs> <in my laughs> sense that this sense 
that. Uh, no, I would never. Well, who's going to clean your toilet, Toilets, Donald Trump? Trump. Oh, that my God. That is. That was my TikTok the I other day. It comes up on my TikTok I once a day. I didn't mean that. No, I would not never. Like that. Like that. I would never. That's how that. I feel about the Don Byron. Who, like, who was mad at her? Everyone. But no, Rosie Perez. Like, she like, like looked Rosie at the crowd. Rosie Perez went nuts on her. That, she really thought she was about to slay Eat. like the intellects. She was about, she thought she was yeah. about to make the most fire fucking point that was going to like solve <laughs> political racism, everything. She came out. I was like, what is this bitch about to say? The first time I saw it, it is the most shocking clip I think I've ever seen on the internet. <laughs> because everyone instantly knew what she had done except for, for her. her. And then it was like five so You got to put it in. You know, and then she tried to like appeal to the crowd. Like yeah. everyone was going to be like, oh, we knew, Trump. we knew. I'm but, sorry, it's the I should be here thing. for Halloween for Pura, maybe. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You definitely yes. should. Oh my God. So, God, that was Shay great. Diaz, back to Shay Diaz. What an obnoxious character. I think everyone wants Miranda. Miranda was like the hard, but not, the, not this like, this woman, this, uh, sorry, this person is walking all over Miranda. And making her crazy. She's a hard bitch. She doesn't take shit from no one. No, that's what I was saying. Like, if you watch the original show, oh, we we said, we had this conversation on my oh, podcast. Did we? Okay. Maybe we shouldn't repeat it. Like, we just had it. Okay. But like, I agree. Maybe yeah. a Cliff Notes version. Well, like, maybe in tune the in. Show, in the original <laughs> show, Miranda's just like when you get older, you really learn to respect and like appreciate Miranda. In the beginning, I think when everyone was younger and they watched it, they like hated her haircut, so they just wrote her off. Yeah. Um, but then you really learn to appreciate like she's the only realistic person. She's the only one who fucking works. Right. She's the only one who like bought and paid for her own apartment. She's like actually an independent woman. She's actually yes. like someone you could look up to. And she's an amazing fucking friend, by the way. Yeah. So that person, it's just not congruous with the person we're seeing now who's kind of getting pushed around. There's also a whole episode where the boss at Miranda's law firm thinks that Miranda's a lesbian and sets her up with that woman and Miranda just like gives it a go and gives her a kiss and she's like, no, I'm definitely not a lesbian. Yeah. <laughs> so from the gay experience, is that possible? Um, no, there's a closet, closet queen. Right. <laughs> They're called closet, closet queen. Um, I, I just told them the, the opening scene where she's getting fingered in the, in the hot tub. Yeah. It's just too much That's for me. That's a lot. Yeah. And and then the most recent episode where, you know, Harry is coming on Charlotte's tits. Oh, I just. He dry, he, well, he, dry, he has a dry orgasm. Right. He, he blows dust. A so nocturnal emission. So mm-hmm. now she's trying to get the cum off the pelvic floor and she's like, you know, there's a whole thing. Kegels. Kegels together. It's really, really, it's horrible. It's too hard to watch. But I will be tuning in. Now, have you done your Kegels today? I can't I'm do doing them right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I let's, think we should do obsessions. Yeah, let's do obsessions. So I do a thing on the show um, every week. We do obsessions. I'm just nosy. I like to find it like we do with Alex Earl. Whatever she's doing, I want to do. Um, so whatever you're doing, I want to do as well. And I'm sure all the listeners do as well. So we're going to ask you some questions about your favorite things, obsessions right now. Okay. Um, starting with shows. What if she would be watching besides Sex and the City? Um, young Sheldon. Oh, tell me about it. Are you guys into Young Sheldon? No, I'm into oh, young. Oh no! What? I'm not a young Sheldon guy. Okay, what is you. that? I'm not a bit. Well, I'm, I'm not the, a big bang person. By the way, same because I'm normal. And so cool. I don't know if that would try. <laughs> I, so that's why I wrote. Is that what Darlene's Darlene's boyfriend works? Yes. Listen, I will. I have never watched. The Big Bang Theory. Okay, I think this it's is literally good. for losers. Sorry, <laughs> it's the worst show on television, and they were all grossly overpaid. <laughs> But on TikTok, I kept getting served clips of Young Sheldon, which I guess was a show that was made years after Big Bang Theory. Um, that's just kind of a prequel because th- the character Sheldon in Big Bang Theory is just this like genius. And they were yeah. like, well, what was it like for like this genius to grow up in this small town in Texas? So it's a sitcom about his life growing up. It's the best show on television. I just restarted it again. I finished it two days ago and I restarted it. So you can watch it's, it even if you don't like it. It has Bang. nothing to do with Big okay. Bang Theory. Right, like, I'm going to give it a try. It's the, the trust and believe. It's Ooh. so wholesome. It's the best uh, show. I'll start. How many episodes is it so far? It's like um, a it's there's like 20 seasons. Six seasons, seasons oh, 22 shit. episodes. <laughs> a heavy one. Heavy yeah, left. but the episodes are 20 minutes. That's oh, what you that's know. I was just quick. talking about RuPaul. I love short, short TV. Very good. Yeah. So that's great. What about your current favorite restaurant right now? Ooh. La Bachibouquet? La Bachibouquet? La Bachi Bouquet? 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 I ate there yesterday. It's not my favorite. Yeah. What is my favorite restaurant right now? Let me think. Let me Our think. place to go. Where, where, oh, place to go to like eat. out and about? Yeah, yeah. wherever. New York City oh, Hotspot. New York City Hotspot. I love Zero Bond. Oh, like, well, no one can go there unless you're a member. You can come with me. Oh, you're a member? Mm-hmm. Oh. I love where we had dinner the other night, St. Theo's. St. Theo's is great. St. Theo's I is delicious. I love um, Holiday Bar. Oh, yeah. Same, same as- Where's Holiday Bar? It's down downtown. Downtown. Uh, downtown. Like West Village, Same owners, and it's more of like a yeah, Asian, same, Asian fusion. Yes. Ooh. The razor clams are will blow your balls off. I don't need clams. Oh, that's right. I don't need anything. <laughs> um, is that sufficient answer? I can that is sufficient answer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, what about current- um, I was such Prime Day was just the other day, last week. Prime Day. It's today. What sure. about Amazon? Yeah. What famous Amazon famous favorite Amazon finds right now? Things are. Oh, let me to go through my. Yeah. Ooh. I just bought. Uh, well, not actually. Last Prime Day, I bought a new Kindle. I love to read. Do you guys read? Oh, are we reading bitches for filth? <laughs> <laughs> Mama, are you, the library is open. <laughs> yeah, we read the room. Uh, are you guys um? 
going to watch Red, White, and Royal Blue, the Amazon no, Prime what show. Is it? Oh. It's like a, it's a show about, um, it's based off of a book and it was like this iconic gay love story about like these two royal gays. <gasps> What's Ooh. it called? Red, Red White, White, and Royal Blue. Oh. You should watch it. I'm going gonna, gonna to find, you know what my favorite thing to get on Amazon was? Your, um, our comedy special. Yes, that's the one. Nice disgraced, job, disgraced queen, disgraced queen, disgraced queen. Thank, disgraced you. Queen. Yes. Thank you, Joey. You're welcome. Not me being like the that's what we'll, we'll be once our what contracts about are up here. Beauty product. Now, you and I get a lot of beauty products sent to you. Now, you. Does, 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 what this is, is your one, cur- yeah. current fave right now? I was I was watching your beauty uh, videos because you do your makeup so well. Thank you. And we get sent a lot of the same products. What are you What are you obsessed with right now, beauty wise? Well, I didn't get sent this. I purchased it with my own money, Ooh. but I'm not bitter or anything. It's <laughs> you know, it's a little hot for foundation. Today, I'm wearing Nars Light Reflecting Foundation, and I Ooh, love it. But that's because I knew I was going to be like studio lights, but. And day to day in the summer, I can't wear foundation anymore. So I've been wearing a sheer skin tint from Summer Fridays. Oh. It's delightful. Oh, stunning. 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 And I'm also really into Patrick Ta. The, yeah, I love him. The eyebrow gel is fabulous. Is it? I haven't tried And that yet. the uh, blush combo that's like both powder. She's and, blushing? Yep. That's yep, my favorite yep, one. She's blushing. I have my makeup I'm wearing right it now. right now. <laughs> she, Patrick Ta is my favorite. The cream bronzer is delicious. Mm-hmm. The, um, she's blushing. I love. I have the, um, the body glow stuff. Oh, I have the two. It's yeah. excellent. Yeah, that, that one I use all his things for that. Um, really nice stuff. And also, always and forever, I will be a Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb girly. Like what, my sparkly eyeshadow look. Ooh. It's kind of like my signature look. Everyone's like, Claudia's, yeah, that's like they're always talking about Which, it. Which, yeah. The, <laughs> the Diamond Bomb from Diamond Bomb. Fenty Beauty. It's the best one. You do a winged liner classically. It's your it's your signature look. What's your favorite uh, liquid eyeliner? I honestly, like, I'll take what I can get. I don't care. I'll I just like, I like a felt tip pen. Stila's, um, I have it. It's one. excellent. That's you know, but one. they test on animals. Oh, do they? I'm a dog mother. So, like, I don't what really about Charlotte care. Pillsbury? Uh, I don't know if she tests on animals, but I don't use her eyeliner. Oh. Yeah. Good to know. Um, what was the other one? Um, what do we have? We have, we did food. We did shows. We did shows. Amazon we did fruit. Amazon, Amazon beauty. And there's household what product. What is household that? product. Household, oh, household product. product. What's your favorite? Like, I know you don't have to buy cleaning, but like. Oh, household so products you can't live without. Like butt wipes are fucking favorite cleaner. Oh, well, or, I uh, love a butt wipe. Like yes. I'm always wiping my butt. You go yeah. dry, wet, dry. <laughs> No, I go just wet, 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 wet. 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 Yeah. Fully wet. Sure. Yeah. No, she has a bidet. Honestly, I <laughs> always use a duty wipe. I love duty wipes. Um, but currently, my favorite household obsession is my ice nugget machine. Oh, ice, ice nugget nu- machine. My nugget ice machine. Like, Ooh. It's so you must delicious. have a countertop in your kitchen. I do. Okay. She yeah. ca- you have a countertop? I have I a countertop. I have a few. Oh, that's insane. Joey, you will too. I'm trying, I'm moving trying, on up. I know. She wants to, I'm going to take her over to her apartment. I told Joey she should take my apartment. I have an amazing apartment. Where's your apartment now? Oh, you don't have to tell, tell us. I'll tell you later. Okay, sorry. Yeah, tell us on the show. <laughs> yeah. Number two? You want my coordinates? Yeah. Um, yeah. My, else, mine was a stain remover that I used last year. Oh, and I used month. it on my, the, with one with the blue thing and it's messy, like the messy best Messy eater. Ever. It's called messy, mommy's messy eater or something. Send it to me. <laughs> it's the best. I'm it's liter- it's for literal yeah. children. Nugget but, ice. I love, I, I love ice. See my stain? Oh. Oh. One thing about me, I'm going to show up with a stain. I didn't what did you eat? It's so the first time it. wearing this jacket. I did have a donut. My birthday was yesterday. I'm just like overwhelmed with sweet treats, you know? It was yeah. it wasn't my fault. What's your favorite kind of donut? Krispy Kreme. Krispy mm-hmm. Kreme. What, what, was it straight up glazed? Plain, plain glazed. Straight up glazed. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's perfection. Did you get any good birthday gifts? I did. Can we, can we go through them? Sure. Oh, I, I had a candle for you. I didn't bring it because I don't want to have to carry it around you all day. You can keep it. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. No, seriously. It's but funny. actually, um, this necklace I got. Oh. I have some pictures. I'll show you. I got some really great gifts. It's a rainbow diamond necklace. Mm-hmm. I'm an ally. Was that from, from the husband? No, I'll show you what I got from my husband. Oh. Is it below the belt? Is it in you right now? No. <laughs> it's a corner willy. I actually returned it. You know, we had lunch. He gave me the gift. I left lunch, went to the store, returned it. Well, I hope this is not the first of many um, interviews. Will you come back to us? You hope this is the first the f- of many. I, first, I want you to come he over says, all the time. I hope this is not the first of many. I hope it is all the time. So I'll just see myself out. No, no. <laughs> this has been so much fun. I love you. We're giving the fans what they want. I hope so. Yes. Thank Thank you it's so nice to me. finally I meet know. you. You can listen to her on It's Happening Podcast with Snooki and Joey every <laughs> Thursday. I'm kidding. Um, this has been a treat. A treat. A I love you, Trudy I Lou. love you. What was the last time you washed your hands? <laughs> I did after a sh- I took a shit before you got here. Oh, how exciting. But I washed it. Um, we're going to walk around the office now, but you can catch her on the toast. Everyone, you can follow her on the girl, no job. And uh, a drink spit society. Amen. And just, you know. Will I see you Tuesday? Tuesday. I'll be in Cape Cod. Oh, this Tuesday? Today's Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Yes, I'll be there. You'll be there. I'll be there. Will you be there? I'll be there. Okay, great. Let's do it. Yeah. Thank you. See you next time. Bye. 